where we last left off, you guys were thrown in the portal to the Herald Realm, landing inside the Midnight Carnival. After learning that the world you're in is not as it seems and everyone is more or less a pre-programmed story, you decided to confront the Ringmaster of the Midnight Circus. After asking five questions and playing his game, you were given a token that is needed to help you escape, but you have no clue what this token does. Afterwards, you decided that food was a priority here, and your new friend, Biovena, is guiding you to the Prophet's Garden, where the only real fruit tree is there. Whether Biovena actually guides you to the Prophet Garden is a different story, as Biovena doesn't really know how to get there, despite saying it. So, a quick little check. Oh, you <laughs> idiot. You idiot, Bio. You absolute buffoon. <laughs> what a faith in the man. It's been two hours since you have departed from the Midnight Circus, and about a total four hours since you landed in the Harrowed Realm. Please, beautiful flower lady, I know exactly where I'm going. As you traverse this cobble path, overgrown to the extreme with tangles and weird surreal vegetation. But being nighttime, it is kind of slightly hard to navigate. You guys still want to follow Bio's path, chosen path, or what's the plan here? All right. So first question, and very important: Does this mean Bio was not able to imagine a resort? No, Bio <laughs> sat there in the tent and did, <laughs> he tried his head. <laughs> He tried his hardest to imagine the resort and changing the world. Oh yeah, I forgot that's where we left off. <laughs> but, but he did not change the world, so... Slaps he hasn't me. changed the world yet. He's yeah. changing it politically, slowly, you know? He's really spreading his name out there. The event is the big sky. No, I am big man, not big sky. Are we there yet? I'm starving. You say this and it feels as though you've rounded the same tree before. I feel like I've seen that tree before. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe we should rest. Has, has the sunrise come up at all? Have we seen the sun since we got here? No. But he'll say, Why do you need to rest? It is noon. What? Yes, it's noon. It's, this what? is the perfect when? hour. As you see the sky, a <laughs> giant moon <laughs> switched to a giant sun. See, it is noon. He did the thing! He did the thing! What thing? Is this sun... is this sun real? Is it nourishing? So, the sun, as you look at it, looks like a giant card cardboard sun attached to a metal uh, winch. However, while it is indeed fake, it does feel nourishing to you, like a real sun. Good. Uh, looks like I won't be wilting after all. I'm wilting. Don't worry, Bio Vanna knows exactly where we're going. <laughs> Bio Vanna doesn't know where he's going. You guys can all confirm this. Oh. Question. When he when he did the thing with the sun, did time also traverse, like for the purposes of spells that have been cast on us? Uh, like give, hours me, that are out give, me a, give me a sense motive. 
Why wouldn't I just know if my tricks are expired automatically? No. Oh, your tricks haven't. Nothing is replenished. Well, yeah, but none of them were. Only one of them was used. The rest are still implanted. No worry. Nothing. Uh, they have not expired from okay. time duration. It depends on how much time they last for. It's, it's uh, Frogman. He he willed it into existence that time. Did you see? I think it's like nine hours. Power per level. Uh, then you're fine. It's halfway okay. over. Are you muted? How about this? He described the way to get there. Be then. Um. Yes, I can like, describe the way to get there. And he describes following the path. However, you get the sense that what he's describing looks entirely somewhat different. For the fact that there's a path that you're following, but everything's so overgrown, it's easy to get lost here. Whatever way he was thinking about is nothing more than you can assume is just the uh, before this place got overgrown. Also, Jam, you might be muted, because I see you turning and looking at everyone, but not talking. <laughs> Do I have a smoking emote? No, I don't. It's only been three days. I was only turning to be inclusive and look at active speakers. But, uh, <laughs> Um... Bill. About how long would you say it was from the carnival to the to the tree? Uh, it is. Uh, is it? Uh, it's going to be know, about an eight-hour journey. An eight-hour journey on foot. Oh, never mind. Tricks just don't expire. <laughs> We're all good. Well, I can't say I speak for the rest of the group, but I certainly do not know where we are. You think oh. any of us do? So oh, hungry. So hungry. That is exactly my point, amigo. It seems Bio is our only hope of finding this All right. Do we, can I roll survival? Yes, you may roll survival if you like. We are at his every mercy, his beck and will. That is because I am the leader of this group. I'm looking for squirrels. Anything I can get a nibble on. Squir looking for squirrels? 13 Anything. does not do it. You can nibble <laughs> on... The, there's a lot of flora and vegetation All that right. you pass by that you may be able to eat. Survival 23. All right. So, while this world the, is, you're not too familiar with the layout of this world, you do look to the sky, and while it is daytime, the sky texture, even though it's now blue, still has the painted stars of night on it. You believe that you can coordinate a distance between north, south, west, east, and with a simple ask of Bio that the Prophet's Garden is south, you point yourselves in that direction. And maybe you end up at the Prophet's Garden. Alright, I'm taking charge. I think I have an idea where we're going. It's much better than going in circles like this. Yes, I follow. Alright. Lead the way, Doctor. Alright, well, where are we going, Moose? Give me... roll me one d4. Okay. For your leading now. So, four hours, four... two hours, two hours, four hours. It has been eight hours of traveling. And as you travel, you run into a 
different location as the area becomes less tangled and more clear. Yeah. You find this your is new. You find yourself in an open clearing flanked with banners poorly made and amateurish of a rabbit print. On the far end of the bright of the clearing is a humble red painted abode looking like it can house someone of small size. However, from the tree lines you hear you hear an individual yelling. <clears throat> Be gone! Be gone and mule at my heels no longer! I have greater destinies than to play nursemaid to you! And with that, he stops yelling and notices newcomers. With a quick portal over and a hop. <clears throat> Ah, fascinating indeed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, a frog cosplayer, a giant blue crocodile, a sentient flower, and two old folk. Yes, it must be. Not once has there ever been a story written about something so unaspiring, pathetic, and dull as you lot. Therefore, you must not be of the Herald Realm. Which is interesting in its own matter. He comes quizzically over and inspecting all of you as if you're some sort of products or goods. I'm Kanaka's salivating. <laughs> oh? Ugh, royalty. <clears throat> yes, it is I, royalty. And you are in the presence of greatness, my dear flower companion. There's no emote for kneeling. You <laughs> Would you like to kneel? Slash me. Slash me yeah. kneels. Ah, my leash. <gasps> Please bow. Kneel lower. All the way to the ground. Your face must be touching the grass if it's a proper kneel. It is Bunny Foo Foo from the Harold Realm. You Bunny said Foo Foo we were not. is not my name. You are in the presence of Brambleson, Prince of the Rabbits, Lord of the Briar, Champion of the Grassland, Explorer of the Wilds, Blade of the Warrens, Fearless Fencer, Swiftest Swordsman, Daring Duelist, The Luckiest Foot, Courageous Crusader, Fabled Footpat, Bushy Tailed Battler, Garden Guardian, Hoppy Hero, Thicket Thrasher, Adventurous Adventure, The Boldest Buddy, Courageous Cottontail, and he just goes on and on. Naming titles that he's acclimated. <clears throat> it's rude to interrupt me. Where was I? Brave blade bearer, intrepid investigator. Now you, you got a finished. vivid imagination, huh? I assure you, this is not a vivid imagination. When you've run in circles for many millennium, you acquire many titles. My dear, who were you speaking to before we arrived? Oh. He looks at the empty, the empty void back here. Don't mind him. He's just an adoring fan of mine. Who? I don't see anyone. Don't you see him? Don't you feel him? The insidious blight of all adventurers, massaging your shoulders, releasing your anxiety. Don't you feel the terrible contentness and comfortness lurking about it follows me wherever i go mewling at me making these banners towards me i cannot be contained or settled down in such a simple peaceful place i am an adventurer this <sighs> long named rabbit from the harold realm you knew we were not uh, yes, I am of the Herald Realm, and of oh, course I know you're not. like wax. Not interested. <laughs> uh, I assure you, I do not taste like wax. Whatever I taste like is probably the best tasting thing in all of the world. 
or the world you come from, at least. Not very smart to say that in front of a salivating crocodile. Yeah, it's not as though he can actually capture me in his mouth. I'm too swift for him. We are challenge? in the mood for pears. Pears? Oh! oh. <laughs> You're hungry, aren't you? You you actually can't eat anything in the Herald Realm. Because no, you are... I can. They can't. Your friends cannot eat anything in the Herald Realm because they are weaker than you and pathetic. <laughs> I wouldn't go so far as that. It's a little harsh. They are weaker than you and unworthy of living? Why are royals always such snobs? When you accomplished many things as I have, you would be snobbish as well. Now, please, it's been so long since I've had guests not from the Herald Realm. Thousands and thousands of years! Tell me everything about you, your names, what you do, what you're planning to do. As he sits down on the floor, interested, eager for a tale of anything. I'll tell you a tale. And, uh... Can I dramatically tell him the tale of the, how we ended up here? Yeah, go ahead. Make sure you slip in the part about us going after... Oh, uh, wait, let me refer to my notes. <laughs> refer to your notes. Give me a perform check as well to see the quality of this text. Make sure okay. to mention the part where we're going after Lord Zasaron. You know, the tyrant, ruler, overlord, strongest man in the Herald Realm. Yeah, that's the, the goal. Do you guys get, like to come deeper into this briar where it's more comfortable? I yeah. summarize and sort of act it out as well. So it, the game is paused. I don't know if you realize. Shh. I no, do it's not. No, I'm staying. I'm staying behind everyone. I'm not getting any closer than I need to. Yeah, I'll dramatically tell the tale, starting with like how we all showed up by coincidence at a fortune teller's hut, and we uh, paid her an excessive amount of gold coins. We're launched into the Herald Realm, into a, the Midnight Circus. Fought stone giants and bears riding unicycles. Dealt with the the fiendish Rakshasa in his, in his game. Fought, Ye fought off. Saved, saved, uh, what, what's his name? Bjorven! Yes. From uh, a bunch of savage clowns. And now we're here. Trying to overthrow Zasaron. The tyrant of this realm. And I play the card. Which card? I wonder Go which one. There, is there a rabbit? Go ahead and click it. <laughs> Ask Bio <Athena>. <laughs> There's no way this is right. It's right! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you guys got it correct. Yes. Oh. As you play the card, he begins sparkling. But he does not seem aware of his own sparkliness. Did it, it, it make him edible? <laughs> what do you mean, make me edible? I'm, quiet there, crocodile. I'm listening to this wonderful lady's tale. Uh, oh. Good effort at telling a story. I can tell that you're not good at it, but with practice, you'll get there. I would make a few changes myself. Uh, first and foremost, Bio did not. You did not save Bio. Bio was gonna live no matter what. Bio's story is that he will not die. Bio constantly is saved by his friends. That is the story that he's been on repeat over and over again. But since the good lady Sonore is no longer here to maintain him, few encounters to the head over and over again has affected him. But I'm sure you didn't notice, Bio's a smart man after all. I'm Bio, leader of the criminal group! Of course you are, Bio. But you've had an encounter with Bernadette, a delightful fellow, one of my friends, I think, I hope. Never know when he's telling the truth or not. He is one of the conspirators as I am. 
Conspirators. Oh. Yes, we are conspirators, named after the fact that we conspired against our creator. Zasaron. No, no, no. He is a conspirator as well. The most fearsome of them all, and the most ambitious. But the token you said you acquired from Bernadette. Mm-hmm. I find it strange that he so willingly parted with it. Our tokens is what we claimed from Sonare after we devoured her. We need those tokens if we are to ever escape. Sonare? Who's this? Well, you told your story, now let me tell mine. Gather around, sit down, and make sure you all take notes. Except for you, you can stare at the sky. I know you like doing that so much. Ugh. Are we done yet? I haven't... Of course! <laughs> We're done. Everyone <laughs> else, though. <laughs> Long ago, our creator, Sonare, made this world. For what reasons, we do not know. But we are her children, the stories given life, forever destined to act out the tales. However, eight of us, eight stories, the most ambitious of them all, grew tired of their daily routine. We desired something more. We desired free will. So the eight conspirators betrayed Sonare, went to the prophet's garden, killed her where he, she stood, and we all took devoured a small portion of her body. Each of us gained her powers. However, we gained a curse as well. The curse of knowledge. Knowledge that our world isn't real. Of course, you can imagine what, what, would, what it would drive you when you realize your world isn't real. When you're trapped in a fake universe to live out millennium in loop. It's maddening. <laughs> of course, many of us have desired to escape this world. However, even if we were to escape, our bodies are not real like yours. We would cease to exist. And not so much that our souls will go to the boneyard. Our souls will become nothing. Our immortality will be gone. I'd much rather live a life in infinity loop than be dead, never to experience an adventure again. So, I spend my life looping here for an eternity. And those tokens you have or you've acquired from Bernadette, a representation of the power taken from Sonare. They're jewels from Sonare's Capnea. It resides her magic. And with them, you can create... Once united with her Capnea, you could create a portal out of here. But... Not all the conspirators are so willingly... are so willing to part with those tokens. Or so willing to work together with each other to find a way out. We all have our own ambitions, our own desires. I just want to adventure. Bernadette seems content ruling over the, the circus. And God, I do not know what the foreign trader wants. But you mentioned your friend Malloy. Oh, did yeah, you mention Malloy? Uh, yeah, I would have mentioned Malloy. Is there the reason we all had that chance encounter in the first place? Interesting. Well, I assure you, Malloy is with Zasseron. You are not the first real people to come to the Herald Realm, and you will not be the last. And most of them arrive here at Zasseron's manipulations. 
He's collecting people for what? I don't know. And if you would like to save your friend, you're going to have to go to the mobile fortress. And you're going to need the tokens. Go ahead, bring me yours. Present it. Then? Present tokens, it. huh? He presents his own token that he has. It is a... A... It is a green stone in the shape of a boot. And as yours hopped only a millimeter before, as he brings his closer to yours, both of them begin moving and they hop even slightly further. And then he quickly snaps it away from you. You see, these tokens are attracted to the Capnea. And the Capnea is held in the mobile fortress. The more of these tokens that you bring together, the faster their pull becomes and stronger. If you want to find the mobile fortress, you're going to need these tokens. I see. So the direction they leap is toward the fortress? Yes, it is the only way to find them. Of course, because it's invisible and constantly moving, it could be miles away from you by the time you wake up in your sleep. Would you like to know where you can get these tokens? The, uh, the location of the other conspirators. The prophet's garden so you can have your parish snack. It's like you read my mind. Well, for a moment like this, we will need a map. And like all good fantasy novels, we can turn the page to the map at the beginning of the book. <laughs> he gives a little clap and your minds all begin to go, bla go black. And you can only see a field of the astral plane with a giant book in front of you. You need a token to have vision here. Wait, you guys can't see anything. Configure. Excuse me, there's a bit of lag. I see chance. a straight line. I see yeah, a I got straight you. line. Yeah. A bit of lag. As you see, wow. represented by the good doctor here, we are here. In the center, you are quite familiar already with the Midnight Circus, ruled by Bernadette. To the south, where you are going, is the Prophet's Garden, where Sonore's dead body, also a conspirator, holds the Black Nib. To the east, you will have the Demon's Fen, where the Radiant Soul owns her heart. To the, to the west, you will have where all, all Storykin are reborn, the Man Molds, where the Queen herself... Oh, fuck her name. Where the Queen Mother herself reborns and weaves. All, all story again. She owns the hands of Sonore. Towards the north, we have the Sanguine Playhouse, where Balio and Balamar own the White Rose of Sonore. They try their best every day to put on a play for all the Storykins, but I feel as though it's been a few thousand years since I've seen a good one from them. And to the east, northeast, the Smith's Caldera, where the TikTok man runs the entire world that you see here. And let's not forget, if you were to travel beyond the confined plains, you'll, become, you'll get lost in a vast, infinite plain of nothingness, known as the trackless dearth, where the foreign trader, in his strange ways, is, do, are, is doing business. Ingrain this into your memory. F Any questions? And just hear Kanaka in the background. <laughs> no, 
My good gator friend, you cannot unsee this, not until I clap my hands again. Oh, I was I've lost. committed it to memory. One might say I've taken a, a screenshot with my mind. <laughs> Very Never good. Never will I forget. Very good. I was trying to do that too. It didn't work. Oh. That well, would have been a good idea. If you ever need to see that again, all you must do is simply turn the page of this world back to the beginning. It's very simple. If you can't do it, you should feel bad about yourself. So? Is that simple enough? Indeed it is. And what of you, my prince? You said you wanted to be an adventurer, but have you left here? As I've said, I cannot leave here. I would so much desire to leave the Herald Realm and see something more than what I've already seen thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of times again. Uh, but, at last, it is nothing more than a dream of mine. The way I see it, what better chance you have of getting out than accompanying these fine uh, fellows of mine? Like I said... On our quest to uh, collect all those Sonore stones. Sure, they will come into conflict with Lord Zasseron. Ha! <laughs> I have... To the Grand Adventure. You can never have. I have no beef with the patchwork lord himself. It's and... not about beef, though. Don't you want to prove your martial might? Prove my martial might? Against Zasseron himself? <laughs> it is a fool's errand to fight Zasseron. I'll tell you that much. I've done many things here in the Herald Realm, but fighting Zasseron is a fool's errand. How As I say, any combatant can fall in battle, no matter how brave or skilled, wouldn't you say? I see what's going in he on here. You're trying to weasel me to come with you, to join your little adventuring party. Uh, but truth be told, you are a little more mundane than I'm used to. A little more boring. You lack a je ne sais quoi about you. You even have a, t a token poser in your party. So, I can't really be caught dead with you. But I understand that you need my token. Correct? We do it, minimum. Need your token. Well then, I'll gladly part with it. On one condition. You duel me for it. Shall I lose? You can have my token. Shall I win? Then I want... Um... Uh... What, what do you have? Well, tell us what the terms of the duel are first. <laughs> what if you win, you come with us and help us defeat Lord Zasseron? Why would I, like I said, I would not want to do that. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. If I, yeah. I would not want that whatsoever. But think of the carousing, the drinking, the merriment. Yes, I would think of the merriment. But none of it seems to be with you, though. He strokes his beard. Why is that? Well, because nonetheless. You're not thinking about it. Think about it. What I did. will. I will give you a copy of a book. A one book? That you don't have here. What book? What is it called? The Seven Things of Longing. Never heard what of that. That was book. your name. It is my name. We go around and name ourselves after fine things. Yeah, and this sure. story is the finest. The finest I've ever read. Yeah, sure, whatever. Seven pangs along. If you say it's good, it's probably good. Okay. 
And he seems very dismissive about it. <laughs> well then, settled. If you win, you get my token. If I win, I'll get that damn book of yours. Terms of the duels, you were saying? Very simple. You'll have the advantage here. First one to ye first one to yield loses. And since there's five of you, all five of you must yield to lose. Well, the six of you. All six of you must yield to lose. It is an incredibly unfair advantage to have Bio on our team. Oh yes, of course, Bio. The one, <laughs> don't worry, he'll be fine. I think I can handle all of you. How about it? I'm no fighter. It's up to you lot. First, I must know. Is he evil? He's not evil. Now it's chaotic attitude. neutral. How do you know what my alignment is, good sir? It's obvious. I assure you, my alignment is not chaotic neutral. It is the best alignment in existence. He won't say what it is, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was right there on your trading card. My what? What do you mean? <laughs> this is how he, is, he does not know about this trading card you speak of. Yeah, take a look. I pull out the non, yeah. my non-magical hero deck and show him his card. What? It looks just like me. The people of your world are stealing my identity. And I stand nothing to profit. What are you using your likeness? Profiting off of it, you know. Tell me, how much did you make? Uh, how much did you buy that deck for? I, uh, I remember. Fine. Does not matter. The outside world, which I can never attain, doesn't matter to me. So. A duel. I understand you are all weak and need to 1v5 me, but 6 me. <laughs> but trust me, I can handle myself. Pats, <laughs> pats you on the shoulder. I suppose if that is what you wish, my friends. I look at the others. Nock is just like... scratching his battle axe. He's just waiting for someone to ring a bell. I'm a writer. Yes, you have proven that already. Not a duelist. Well, I only need to duel one of you at minimum. So the three of you don't go into this unprepared. I mean, if this is anything like the cards, he is probably the, one of the strongest combatants in here. And don't let his legs get bullied. We shall see. We'll also see if he's as tasty as he says. I suppose I should patch myself up before we begin. Oh, yes, Indeed. take all the time you want. Do your stretches. Always need to do good stretches before a duel. And he begins doing stretches. Yeah. Uh, position yourself wherever you like to be as well. Yep. Oh, wait. You guys, you guys don't. No terms? What are we fighting to? <clears throat> Till we yield. yield. Yeah. Just yield when you're about to die. All right, so is the duel started? No, 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 no. Wait till your friends are done preparing and take your positions. At the sound of the bell. Do you, any of you have a bell? <laughs> oh, up close and personal, big fella. 
still salivating. <laughs> <laughs> Just has his battle axe out right in front of him. Yo, we should flank him. Yo, oh, if and behind you say, me yo, flank him, as well. Flank the fuck out of him. I see as there is no honor whatsoever amongst your group. We are a group of criminals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super flank. Do you want Bio with a fight? He has 4 HP. Yeah, fuck no. it, why not? No, no, no. I'm side. We said it, it was a can't handicap. <laughs> Dio, you'll assist us. Just simply yield immediately. <laughs> So, it's just so we get this correct, you two are not participating. Define participating. When you say that, it makes me feel as though you're going to cheat. <laughs> you're not going to Never dream to of it. Right, if there's any cheating involved, I will handle it swiftly and you will be disqualified. Well, why don't you leave it, uh up to you to decide whether or not we're participating based mm. on our actions <laughs> I hardly feel I feel as though something unfair is about to happen I'm gonna be completely honest with you I'm definitely going to cheat <laughs> <laughs> of course you are are you okay with this you are cosplaying as someone honorable do you actually have any honor in you I'm talking to Lambkin. Yeah. <sighs> you have a fair point. We are getting ready. Um, you said we are free to prepare. Yeah, uh, prepare. Take yeah. all the time. In large person. <laughs> Get, big Get all your buffs out right now. Hey, Ian. What do you mean you're going to cheat? <laughs> no joke. I'm down with just instigating. What do you mean? What do you, you mean? What do I mean? I'm going to cheat. Yeah, within this context, I don't know what what you're going to like shoot him or something. What? You think I am some kind of murderer? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! No, it is all right. It's it's better if all of our cards are on the table. Uh, if you're going to participate, I shall protect you. I'm just going to swing things one way or the other way. And I'm just going to watch and narrate what I see. Uh, Can I still murder him? It's until yield, Big Ben. That does not mean murder. Yeah. Insofar as I know, the flower person just has unsettling stares, and Vin just likes to laugh. <laughs> True. Um, you don't actually I, know. I, I, I suppose that is okay. I, uh, I'll, all right, I'll all right. I'll, I'll take an official, take an official participation stance. Right? Yeah, I'll stand right here. What if I ate him on accident before he could yield? Go ahead and slay me if you must. Oh, I assure you, there will be no slaying of me. No, oh, no, it's fine. Go ahead, murder me. No, Cut no, no. I will not murder you. I will merely drop you to the point where you feel humiliated, and then you will yield. Ah, that is my secret. I am always humiliated. <laughs> I can tell. I'm always hungry. Well, if you're ready, we shall begin this duel. You're not big. <laughs> oh, hungry. Well then, let us begin the duel. See, <laughs> particularly for pre-buff, everybody. <laughs> that was the idea. I know. Ah, uh, yes, negative one, <laughs> negative two. It is Saffron's turn first. You get the jump. Oh, right. Um, also... Um... Wait. 
I forgot to target the guy. Don't worry, next time you'll do it. Sir Lamkin and Vin and Kanaka both have plus two. Not it's a it only matters for it. Sir Lamkin actually goes first. Okay. So does any of that hit? Or do you no. want me to reroll? All those miss. On touch? On touch. That's a Dex oh. character if I've ever yeah. seen one. That's a Dex character. Seven pangs of longing. I will hang out right here. And actually, sorry, did um, all of those missed? Yes, they all missed. So I'm just gonna. I'm already staring at him. Gonna keep Wait, doing that. Wait, I have that. one more. It's not. It's not taking account rapid shot. Ah, yes. Go ahead and make another attack then. No, minus it by tool manually. Oh, yeah. wait. And don't forget to. Oh, wait. So, total of 23, because of rapid shot, that misses. Damn. Damn, really? Yikes. 23 on touch? 23 on touch. Alright, let's not fuck with this guy. So, why don't you <laughs> grapple him, please? Seven tanks of longing, it's your turn. Make him do uh... a will save. Make him do a will save, please. Oh, I'll clap. It's a good show, Rabbit Prince. Dodging bullets is pretty impressive. Thank you. And then I'll just keep watching. Okay. <laughs> ready, uh, already in action to. Actually, no. <laughs> ready action to. Can I cast this on? No, it's personal. You know what? Do I have to, to assist someone's AC? Yes, you have to be threatening the target. You have to be threatening the target. No, I, I can't do that. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna chill. Already in action, if he attacks me, I'll rip to mirror image, but I don't think he will. Dare you inspire my courage? I'll go stand next to Vin. <laughs> and turn. Yeah, we progress. But I was saying, uh, would Yari's last shot have hit with, with the plus three from Inspire? With plus three, yes, they would hit. What's the range increment of the pistol? 20? 20, yeah, I'm in within 20. He gets shot. Okay, what so what is your gun? Is your gun made of co your bullets cold iron? No, they are not cold iron. They're just normal cartridges. Okie dokie. In that case, I trigger my thing. My stare. Uh, so four damage and will save DC 21 against confusion. With a minus four to will saves. How much damage? Four. Damn, this dude has 24 touch AC. That's pretty insane. He's a rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> And he's small. That tracks. What's happening here? Rabbit is confused. Uh oh. Confusing stare has triggered again. Like the giant. How much damage was it again? Just four, but it's un like untyped, so. Wait, you didn't actually roll. Me? Oh, wait. That's just a minus four plus nine. Yeah, wait, what is that? <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I got your back. You got this. <laughs> hey, thanks. Look at these people are doing take backsies. <laughs> okay. Nice. I'm confused and I take damage. That's it. And then my turn passes the same exact thing. <clears throat> Already my action and I pass my turn. Lamkin? I took a swing. You don't. You hit, but you don't confirm crit, and you miss the second attack. <clears throat> Is there anything else? Is it... 
Is there anything else? And now it's my turn. Alright. Yes, let him shift and full attack me. It's it's his turn. Time out! What was that? I my head does not feel right after that shot. There's some foul play about. Well, most people's heads don't feel right after they get shot. So. No, no, no. You don't understand what I am. It, what was that? Speak up now. It was a bullet. No, no, no. There's something magical mm -hmm. afoot. I know this. You seem confused. I am very much confused. That is why I'm asking the question. But are you okay with this? You know that cheating. You know, he comes close to you. You know that cheating in there. Are you okay with this? As a proud do this yourself. I haven't done anything here. I'm just standing. Look at her. She's gaslighting you. <laughs> Where's the honor in this? A life of adventure. There's no honor in this duel. Do you really feel proud if you win this bout? I told you I was going to cheat, and here I am participating in the duel. I, you, I, you were too surprised. I know you haven't done anything yet. I'm speaking with my newfound friend here. We're best buds. Best that bud that you won't even go to Zasseron's castle with to help defeat the tyrant. Some best bud. He begins yeah. ignoring you, and his arm swoops around you, Lambkin. <laughs> That's You've impressive. You've also been insulting me since I first No, got no, no. You misinterpreted me. I didn't know how powerful you were. That that was a mar magnificent rapier strike. I could hardly parry it. Are you guys gonna just wait and for this to occur, or are you gonna show any hostile action? I'm waiting for him to roll those one d one hundred because he's confused. <laughs> I'd like to send a message to Lampkin and just tell him like, just just take his item. <laughs> We don't, we don't need to do this. We don't need to finish this duel. Just just take his thing and we'll leave. Magic's not uh, honorable. Bullets, I suppose, are not honorable. I don't even know what a bullet is. I'm. There's magic in those bullets, and those bullets weren't magic. I'm telling you. Those. It's those two. But your One gun is magical. No, no, no. It's those two. I'm telling you. You gotta be careful. Have they ever done anything shady that you don't know of? I've only known them for like 12 hours. And you trust them? It is life. Yes. How long does the confusion last for, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, just one, just his turn. That's it, one turn. All right, I think he's stall. he's effectively stalled you guys life. long enough. <laughs> He's effectively stalled long enough for well, it to I mean, go around. He still has to roll because one of the options is like hitting himself. He's or babbling incoherently. Yeah, he wouldn't be able to do this depending on his, well, his confusion. Definitely mode. babbled incoherently. <laughs> What's 97? Oh, that's not good for him. Oh, that's okay. No, well, that's not good for us. That's that is attack the nearest target. Well, yeah. get his pretty arm. fucking close to me. His arm <laughs> Is you sure it's hey, attacked the nearest let, target? <laughs> yeah. Hey, All let right. me talk to you about honor. And he puts a shoulder or his arm around my shoulder and just fucking shanks. Is it just an attack roll or can I make any attack? No, it's I just attack. It is attack in general. You, you can throw a fireball. I can throw a fireball. Just you do whatever 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 attack means to him. Just no. I'm going to parry it. I would like to, you know, that I actually I actually believe that we would be good friends during this bout. But for some reason I feel extremely compelled now to hurt you, my friend. Well, let's see what happens. There's nothing personal here. Try your best to block this. Please, I beg of you. I don't wish to hurt you. Everyone else, that's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I did he parry not one. it. He not one. Nice! Oh my god. Very impressive, my dear frog friend. 
Keep more of that up! Hey, where the fuck does he think he's going? He's getting repossed. <laughs> go for it. He, he still gets to go wherever he pleases. Did that hit all of us or just Lambkin? Just Lambkin. Okay. It was pretty anime. I didn't know how crazy <laughs> this attack was. Misses. <sighs> With confusion, I can't do any other action though, right? Uh, it's well, Vincent. Oh, wait. Uh, sorry. The, for the repost, it still gets a plus four. It misses. I rolled the wrong one. No, even with a plus four. I don't know. I guess that's up to GM interpretation. And it, like, it just says you're like you're you're attacking this round. For what? Confusion. I okay. feel attacked. <laughs> In that case, he's going to after that full round, he's going to use a move action, a second move action, to jump twenty feet up into the trees. What a swift boy. I ready in action. I'm still confused. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I'll shift you right now. I'm ready in action to uh, place a misfortune hex upon the rabbit prince if he enters within 30 feet of me. Oh, now you're definitely cheating. <laughs> I love you... my whole thing. <laughs> Kanaka. Uh, so he's 20 feet in the air? Yep, he's 20 feet in the air. Okay, can, can I still hit him? Because I'm like 10 foot tall and I have a 10 foot reach. You have 10 feet reach? Yes, you can still hit him. Alright, can I charge and do dirty trick? I was going to ask that earlier, I forgot. No, you can. No, yes, you can charge actually. Yours, no, you can. Because your dirty trick replaces an attack. So the Sweet. charge would be... I'll do that. Go ahead and end him. Cover. <laughs> yeah, just hit him in his little rabbit balls. Thirty-three gonna... against CMD. I guess plus two with the charge. I guess. No, it doesn't. Because it's oh, it not doesn't? an attack. Oh. It, it would normally if it was like a trip or other. Are you gonna swift action strength surge it? Or no? Yes. So plus nine? Oh, no, we... no, no, no. No, I didn't check the, the strength surge, no. Okay, so no strength surge. Then yeah. he is not. You have failed to dirty trick him. Alright, so it'll just be the two attacks out of the haste of then. No, no, charge charge is your full round action. Alright, oh, right, right. Yep. Wait, was there even point in charging if I didn't get the plus two? Uh, no. It, like, it no. doesn't do anything though. It's the same thing but, as you walking up and dirty tricking. Yeah, it, it worked out the same. But right, thematically, it's, it's not a thematically, yeah. thematically. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you I mean, do have minus two AC now. Yeah, charging is pointless, but then because other it's yeah the AC penalty sucks. Okay, yeah, that, that's the only reason why I would have charged is if I got the plus two. Don't worry. It is... Saffron's turn again. Let's see. You know what doesn't care that he's in a Bro, tree? He is so far away. It's it. Yeah, you also rolled well shoot, last I time. So. I don't think I can shoot without hitting Kanaka. Not precisely. He's like, I, I didn't just get just away for a shot, bit. But he's it's long. a minus two because of partial cover. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Actually, no, it's not because no, he's, he's not. Feet he's above Kanaka right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, Okay. 
Do I want to use shot on the run here? Nah, I'm not. I'm not burning. I'm not burning the grit on this tiny little guy. What? <laughs> After everything you've seen, you're still. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 I think I will actually use shot on the run. <laughs> <laughs> Was there an actual animation for, like, running forward? What do you mean? You could, you for, could... Because you said there was a shot on the run animation. Yeah, go ahead and just shoot, and it also gives you a little targeting for you to jump to. Oh, in that case, I should... Misses. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty high, but like, that's not gonna hit that guy. Seven tangs of longing. Uh, I'm just spectating, to, uh, Mr. Uh, Rabbit. Run, does it? You're looking, still doing a fine show up there. Looking very regal. That's my turn. <clears throat> I know you're cheating. Those words casted some spell on me right now. <laughs> I don't think so. Do you see any magic? I sure don't. I, there's magic literally everywhere right now. I see tons of it. I, uh, will ready in action to mirror image again. That's all. Sir Lambkin. I will shield and protect Bin Belga from his feet to his waist. <laughs> and ready in action. That was part of me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> ready in action. If Brambleson comes close, he gets the dead. What is your CMD, Kanaka? It is... 32. Does four 45 beats it? You do not get an attack of opportunity. As he nimbly leaps away from you, Right next to the seven pangs of longing. Okay, right, I'll do my ready to action to cast my thing. Go for it. Please make a will save, Bramblesome. <laughs> I thought it was a mirror image. No, this is my ready to action. Mine is mirror image. Oh, misfortune. So is now it minus we... four still, right? Sure does. I'm still staring. 19. With the minus four already. Okay, I probably should have checked my DC. Hold on. <laughs> All right, go ahead and cast your mirror images. Um, trying. It's giving me the number of images pop up, but mm -hmm. it's just like I'm supposed to roll one d four plus one for three caster levels. I thought yours was always two. Oh, you're using um, the spell. I ready to action to cast the spell. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're... I don't know what to do. Oh, you want me to just roll? Here, I'll just roll. I got you. He fails. He fails? I rolled a 1d4 for you. It's a 1. You fucker. <laughs> how, how dare you roll a 1? <laughs> uh, he fails yeah, on a 19. All my, all my hex DCs are 21. Interesting. He is now... He is misfortune. Luckily, he's not making a d20 roll. Luckily, he's just throwing a little feather onto the ground. Get a cool effect. Oh, then we gotta take care of all the cheats about. Tree. As a tree spawns, and you and Bio. Are 60 feet in the air. Be a no. It's well, just. I sure am high up in the, in the sky. Are you are? Now it's just me and you here. Yield. Yield and stop cheating. Now. I haven't done anything. Is it my turn? 
You bitch. He takes his second move action. <laughs> <laughs> he takes his second move. <laughs> All right. Where are he going? Vin, it's your turn. He used the move, standard, and a move. Already. To, yeah, but we're, is he still right there? I didn't see him move again. He's here. Oh, what the heck? Uh, it's, it's took for, he's still standing next to me on my screen. Uh, just reload. That's okay. Vin. I use... Uh, it's a couple of times. Add this to my thing for some reason. I use Stardust on him. Wait, no, I don't. It's 30 foot range. I ready an action to use Stardust on him. Kanaka? The other so side. So much <laughs> running! I can go. Oh, oh. I can go. Oh, you're, okay. you're good. <laughs> Damn. You're fast. Make could be hungrier. Um, his AC is stupid high, right? Just no way. Keep trying to blind him. I'm not gonna lie, you're, you're. Oh yeah, no, blinding him would be good. But he might also be better off <laughs> copying him. Cop it, a rabbit. Yeah. At this point, just angry enough to swing. Calm down, tiny bunny. No, that does not hit me, and I will not come down there. Yeah, I get a free bite, right? No, on a full attack, you get a free bite. Only on a full attack. Okay, yes. gotcha. I'm just chasing the bunny. Saffron, this is your turn. So you continue uh, chasing I hate, the I hate bunny? this rabbit. Yeah, I hate this rabbit. Twenty-four touch AC. If you so believe it to be. Nobody even hit him that round, right? Nope. He has one. Sh he has one bullet wound. That round, no one hit him. Yeah. He got stabbed too. He got raped. Through. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. I'm playing. I'm. I'm playing differently. That was round one. I mean, like. Oh. How are you playing differently yeah, here? Ready in action to shoot him if he comes back over here. <laughs> Trip. <laughs> Pangs longing. I would. How difficult does it look like it would be to climb down this tree? Uh, it doesn't look difficult, but it does look like it will take quite a bit, right? Because it's sixty feet and going climb speed. Dropping yeah. instant though, so you can always just jump uh, if you like. No, I don't want to. I don't want to jump because. That's 66 damage. I don't I'm just gonna start climbing down. <laughs> Give me a climb check. An easy climb check, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. DC 10. There's a lot That's of not easy. That's, That's not easy. <laughs> There's a lot of footholds. <laughs> In fact, actually, no. I'm gonna, if it's, I'm gonna chill up here. I'm just gonna take a seat and serve. Okay. <laughs> Is he still within 40 feet? Uh, you can bust that rule, but I don't. No. Forty-five. Lambkin, your turn. He's twenty feet up. Twenty feet up, yes. No, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Protect me. You're channeling your inner Beto. 
No, I am a bad criminal. <laughs> Uh, unless you're gonna allow cool shit. It's only DC 80 echo check. <laughs> no, it's two twenties. It's not one forty. I just four. Is it two twenties or is it? Oh, it is. DC it's not 20. two. It's not DC twenty, but it's DC forty. It's two DC forty acros if you want to hit them. Oh, fucking easy. <laughs> it's two separate jumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it two jumps or is it one jump? If you want to go on top of Kanaka, then one to hit him, then yeah, it's two jumps. Two DC 40 jumps. Shit. My That's tail good. scales are like stairs. So there's no jump needed. Well, then it'll be slower I'll with the climb. I'll stand between his <laughs> two true. likely targets and prepare. Wait, 30 feet in the air? No, but seven I Seven mean... to 60 feet in the air. Oh, yeah. just, like attack her in the air. Is it? It's his turn, right? Yeah, flame can stun. All right, against your CMD, he's gonna make an acrobatics check once again. Kanaka, does 31, 51 beat your CMD? <laughs> can you go back to the 31? <laughs> no, you're... yeah, it does beat my 32. <laughs> He's getting stardusted. Stardust me. A spring attacks uh, Saffron, but Saffron prepared an attack, so go ahead and shoot. Yep. So that's going to be two for the rapid shot. Mm hmm. No, wait, no. It's you ready then attack. You can't. It's a standard to do it. You can only shoot once. Oh, okay, okay. What Stardust do? Uh, he can't benefit from concealment or invisibility, and he takes a minus three to attack rolls and perception. Hit. 33 does hit, indeed. He takes 28 damage, minus the DR, of course. Another will save, please, and, and another four damage. Howie. Also, oh, wait, no, he's not, he's not in range of anymore. Yeah, that's why he put you in the tree. <laughs> uh, does 28 hit you, Saffron? It does, barely. Take, take 11 damage. Okay. And then, what Stardust do that's relevant, other than he can't go in this? Minus three attack rolls. Got it, wow. Stop that. Okay, minus three attack rolls on them. And he remains here in melee of Saffron. That was a nice one. Vin. Shift here. Tackle. Oh, he has Misfortune, doesn't he? Oh yeah, I should roll that twice, my bad. It's just better. Okay. Cackle, he's still ma maintaining misfortune. Anything else? Uh, let's go ahead and put a fortune on uh, Dr. Ravenwood. Go for it. Even with his now fortune. Kanaka, it is your turn. Are we getting tired yet, big fella? Is he panting? Kanaka? No! Kanaka, would you mind helping me down from here? Oh, wait. The only <laughs> way I could would be chopping it down. <laughs> Couldn't you just catch me? Carry the two. Yeah, it would be like a 40 foot drop. She's 30 feet up. Right? She's 60. I thought it was a... She's 60. 60. Oh, I thought she started climbing down. It feels bad. No, I can't pass that. I can't pass the DC 10 climb. That is an easy climb. The odds are against me. I have yeah, a no, negative strength. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna try dirty again. Oh, that's okay. Run I, didn't up. Could, I didn't know you could still hit him this turn. You run fast. other things to do. He's raging. He doesn't have time for your petty request. <laughs> I'm so mad at his bunny right now. <laughs> because the map is I'm so small, to... Kanaka's just as fast as him. 
<laughs> I'm gonna do a running skid and just yep. try to splash a whole bunch of dirt in his face and Go his entirety. It. 41 does do it. He gets a yes. DC 42. For the blind. He's not dazed, but he is blind. Go ahead and reroll that. <laughs> He's gonna reroll that. For misfortune. Okay. <laughs> Wait, okay, probably still good, right? Yeah, DC 22. Oh, it's so close. He is blind. Oh, th this is definitely cheating. You can't just throw <laughs> dirt in one's eye. <laughs> I was just stopping. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's it. That's all I could do, I think. Saffron, there is now a blind person in front of you. You can reroll one roll per round because of fortune. Now it's against flat-footed touch when you shoot this person. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So is, wait, is it my go? It's your go. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Nope, but yeah, shift full attack. Go for it. Uh, 18 hits. <laughs> 21 also hits. Give me another right, one. And, yep. As long as you beat a 10. As long as you don't roll a 1, <laughs> you hit. He's taken many attacks. You can reroll the 2 and see if you roll a 20. Yeah, you should reroll. Yeah. Two. Okay. Give me 1d20. Slash r1d20. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Fucking happened. <laughs> Roll the. Uh, your attack is a whatchamacallit. It's a uh, times four, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> roll y just roll your attack fucking uh, three times then. Oh man. The fucking blind, flat footed touch. The blind, bro! <laughs> he might die. Yeah, he might die, but he doesn't really get the, the option here to. <laughs> <laughs> Should have healed it. <laughs> he literally have the option to stop you and be like, "Hey, bullet, let's go ahead and roll me." He didn't know what bullets were. No, 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 no. Yeah. Click your click your attack three times. Oh, okay. Just oh, that's good. That, that means that means that means she confirmed. <laughs> just uh, just real quick before you shoot me in the face, I want you to know I could die. Just roll a full attack here, and then just an extra attack, and that'll be the damage. You just need the total. Oh, okay, you just want the damage? Yes, yes, yes. Because the attacks also come with it. You actually don't confirm the crit, because you rolled a 1. This is the only way to not confirm the crit here. Oh, the 8 was the confirmation. Oh, that was the damage. That's a, yeah. yeah. So he's not critted, and he's not dead. <laughs> Wait, so, wouldn't the, the 2 that first hit? Have been the con confirmed? No. no. You re roll to a um, 20, and then you need a confirmation. So you get, just attack again, and we'll take the attack roll for comp. But uh, one misses. Uh, uh, Alright, so you don't instantly kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Convenient. Lamb kid. Excellent work, though. Shwee. Friend, I feel your pitter patter. <clears throat> this is not a fair duel. I cannot see anything. You really going to? <laughs> you slap him. That could have been a sword. <laughs> do you, what do you do on your turn? Depends on how he responds. I'm not gonna lie, I feel so bad attacking him. Wait, are you Why gonna attack him? Are you, advantage of are you like going this? to ta attack him or not? Me and you are kindred spirits. I can sense it from the moment you walked into my meadows. It's because you're both hoppy. Fine. I ready in action. 
Once he, uh, once he tries to move away, or is no longer blind, I will stab him. He will, on his turn, start rubbing his eyes and stick a hand out to you, Lambkin. <clears throat> of course. Oh. It seems as though, with all the cheating about, there's no other way but to sell this as a draw. Of course, you would never admit to your cheating, and you would never win if you didn't cheat. So, let's call it a draw. How about it? I'm what glad you agree, Lambkin, as he forcefully grabs your hand and shakes it. <laughs> He turns everyone. Fight's over. Your friend agreed to a draw. Don't worry. You'll still get your token. And uh, you know what? I'll be kind. You can keep that book or whatever it was. Oh, I didn't get a bite. Inaka, I don't know how to tell you this, but he won't taste good. I'm sorry. Prince Brambles. Uh, no. Oh. You just <clears throat> want. It's okay. My palate are only, is only for honorable people. Someone who would throw dirt in his eyes willing to appreciate the sophisticated taste that I am. I was just trying to stop. You see how no. fast I could run? You should control your speed. Have a little more grace there. That's and not you. cheating, then. Make sure you do mm. not bring whatever those things are to a duel. This is, that obviously was not a sword or a fair fight. Yeah, but you're the one that called for the draw, right? Yes, of course. Yeah, that means I had the advantage there. No, 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 it means you were cheating. But it's okay, let us not argue on the matter. Here, claim your reward. I'll chuck his little token onto the ground in front of you. I don't Ooh. need it anyway. Are you sure you don't want to go on adventures? They'll be cool. <laughs> no, no, no. Lamkin. My friend. Your friends are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> However, if you would like to go on an adventure with me, I will gladly accept you. I know that... Kinaka is a little difficult to look at, see. But Lady Shellen has taught me to appreciate inner beauty. <clears throat> oh, Lady Shellen. Yeah, she doesn't really seem like a good goddess, especially after, after what she did to the Queen Mother and all. So, you know, I'll pass on that. However, I... If we ever meet again, Lambkin, I'll gladly fight by your side. Or fight against you in a fair one-on-one -on -one duel. Indeed. Wouldn't that be a sight to see? Go ahead. Double-click that and claim your reward. Nope, don't walk on it. <laughs> nope, I walk. Nope, I see. And there you go. Why do you have me selected? Oh, <laughs> wait. It only works for me. Don't worry, it's in your inventory. Well. You guys, I got my Monopoly piece. Duels have too many rules. Yes, duels do have too many rules. It's how you keep it honorable. Test of are, you, uh, are you saying that you yield, Sir Prince? No, no, it's a draw. I do not yield. Mm. Well, you don't get my book on a draw. Oh, like I said, you may keep your book. I'm being kind here. Ah, uh, but we will borrow. So in that case, let us borrow your item. Yeah. We'll return it after we're done. Of course, borrow my item. Just saying, it is a very good book. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. I do not know how to get your friends down from there. I'll tell you that. Kanaka's, <laughs> Kanaka's just reaching in the sky. Yes, <laughs> Senorita Flower, please. I will get you. Thank you, good Sir Knight. I climb on Kanaka. 
<laughs> I hold up Lambkin. <laughs> you're still like you're still like forty eight feet too yeah. short. <laughs> Reach more. Here, watch. I have a see if see if this music perhaps makes it a little easier for you. <laughs> So Would it if be you... easier to climb down if you if your competence is inspired to a nice plus four? Yeah, I could I could take ten and not fall. Yeah, I'll I'll play a little jig. Okay, can I take ten to get down yes, with that? Yes, you may take ten. <laughs> Bio, I'm inspired. Bio, jump. <laughs> with that, Bio can also take ten. Wait, unless you want Bio to jump. No, he'll die. That's just, that's just me saying it. <laughs> Mobile, I believe. Please <laughs> just climb down, Bill. I'm down. Bill was not afraid of big tree. I saw so many things from there. Like the garden, perhaps? We already know it's south. I suppose if we just walk south and that, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if that is how this world went. More walking. Well then, toodles, everyone. Please leave my home. Now, I'm kicking you out for being uncouth. I see your chimney smoke. Are you cooking anything? Oh, no. Once again, I told you, please ignore him. He's just an adoring fan. Your house? Hey, the house? No. Contentment and comfort. Yeah, that's what I do in houses, too. Is that your house's name? No, 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 no. I don't. Th this is not very hard to follow. I don't know why you guys don't understand. Is there food in your friend? No, most likely not. I think that's just for show. Ugh. Worst realm ever. Naka, it just means in the story, nobody knows what is inside the house. Oh. It's like that time we sent Bio into the tent. Nothing will happen, my friend. It's okay. Also, please stop turning so I can stop moving my pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to stand on top. <laughs> well then. So, what's the plan? We go south. Is that where the pear tree is? Yeah, that's where the pear tree is. Indeed. That it is then. <clears throat> However, it has been eight hours. Yes, perhaps once we leave the prince's estate, uh, you think maybe we should take a rest? Sure. If you guys take take a rest, can press the rest button. Um, a, fine, a fine old camping trip. Hopefully you won't get too hungry. I'm feeling just fine. I've heard flies around here before. Flies? I there are flies I can eat. There are no <laughs> flies here. There's nothing real for you to eat. Flies are we resting? Bread. Yeah. Oh no. Just do it the old-fashioned way. I mean, I would not cast it. <clears throat> sure. All of them after this next time. Sylvan Hideaway. Vin casts a little portal onto the ground and makes a little dirt hole for you guys to sleep in. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Can this retire to my abode then? Oh!
Oh, particularly handy. Do we rest the full uh, duration? If you're in the Sylvan hot, if you're in the Sylvan hideaway, you are not accosted. Throughout Sounds the good. Night. I'll click the button. <laughs> I I see the dirt hole. Button. However, as you get when you go into the hole and emerge out of it after eight hours. It is. It has not changed from day to night. It's just still day. That's what I expected. <laughs> Dog. So. Once again. Do you guys begin traveling south? Yes. I would like a survival check from whoever would like to navigate. It's still confusing. Well, it ain't me. <laughs> Yeah, I got right now. Bio Vena has it. No, Bio, you are still critical. It's like you didn't rest. Bio Vena has nature's paths. Oh. We travel swifter. You travel swifter? Yeah, we're on a we're on like a trail, right? Yeah. Yeah, it counts as a highway now. Well, you guys will be there within two hours. But still, a survival check is necessary. It doesn't give you the the direction to go, right? No, not at all. Biovena knows where he's going. Oh yeah. my god, <laughs> he's doing it! <laughs> Biovena leads the way! I will redo my scene tricks if you ever want to see what you have on you. Just open up the chat for this Discord channel. Sure. Oh god, that one. I play track. I play slightly I play average yeah. travel music. As you guys round. <clears throat> As you reach to the far south point of the map, I hear myself echoing. All right, never mind, I lied. As you reach the far south point of the Harrowed Realm, a giant marble wall stands before you. One more person must load. And within that marble wall, an overgrown garden where you have entered. Hey, so this probably <laughs> would have been good while we were moving. What in uh, God's name is this? We'll find out soon. <laughs> Is anyone in my party evil? <laughs> Couldn't be me. <clears throat> when we get are, you, are you gonna <laughs> cast the tech evil? Yes. I just I focus <laughs> on <that>. Right. <laughs> Here, in yeah, there there is evil about you. Couldn't be me. <laughs> I see. One person in particular was e is evil. <laughs> oh, Kanaka. 
There is hope for you still. It's not cannot a. <laughs> <laughs> sure. The flower lights up as evil when you cast detect evil in amongst your party. But now you are inside the marble walls of the prophet's garden. And over what was once well manicured has now been overgrown with weeds and bushes. What a beautiful place. Hey, is that unicorn just like there? Yeah, the unicorn there. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's two unicorns there. Look at them. There's a tree in your in your ice path, but yeah, if you were to go around it, you can see it easily. Uh, oh, there she goes. I was going Hello, my dears. <clears throat> All right, as you walk up, it doesn't seem as though they pay you much attention. Rather, they pay each other more attention. In front of the unicorn is a single pair, and obviously, if you're familiar with goblins, there is a goblin wearing a unicorn mask. They argue back and forth with the goblin saying, <clears throat> Hey, I'm a unicorn. <laughs> Give me the pair. Oh no, I do not think I will give you that pair. Huh? Why not? Look at me, uh, I can gallop. Oh, what marvelous galloping, but I shall not give you this pair. It's, it's not even your pair. I saw this goblin, he climbed the tree and he picked the pair. He was pretty <laughs> badass. Oh, I would not say that he was badass, but since you are not this goblin, it is not your pair to claim. Hey, <laughs> I'm a unicorn. <laughs> Give me the pair. <laughs> and it, 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 it loops. <laughs> it loops in an argument with them paying no mind to you whatsoever. Who wrote this drivel? No, I shan't not give you this pair. Where's, where's the pear tree? Here, as you see a magnificent tree of pears. Sparkling. Oh, there it is. Looks like you, none of you will have to starve. Uh, here's the deal. What do you know about this unicorn? You... He's right there. I mean, no. He's right there. I remember seeing something in the deck that looked a lot like this scenario. Vin, would you mind? Talking about the unicorn. I sure am. No, well, let me just tell you, this scenario doesn't sound awfully like... The unicorn. Who cares? Your scenarios don't seem to be coming into play that often. So what, do you want to play the card? Yes. Then go for it. Reach on in my ass wallet. Play the card. Done it. You've done it. Uh, hold on. I will do it again. Never mind. This is just lag. Wow. The, pair the unicorn began. <laughs> the, the pair sparkles regardless. <laughs> but the unicorn sparkles once you play the unicorn card. Oh, but the goblin isn't sparkling. Not the goblin. He's a, he's a fraud. <laughs> yes, that is not a real un <laughs> unicorn. <laughs> what? You gonna say that? What? <laughs> Call him out on it or what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> do it. Do it, Kanaka. 
You're not a real unicorn! Huh? <laughs> how did you... How did you know? You saw through I my I thought you foot. were, but someone said you weren't, so I just said it. Oh. No, don't believe them. I am a unicorn. Oh, too late. You dropped no. the mask. No, I... Give me the bear! <laughs> All diplomacy devolves once he, you saw through his disguise. <laughs> but the unicorn merely bumps the goblin away. <laughs> Very good eyes you have there. Good thing I'm not the only one who saw through his simple ruse. <laughs> you fooled me for a second. Of course it didn't, my dear lizard friend. I'm gonna eat some pears now. Oh, go ahead. Eat those pears. They're for everyone to share upon. <laughs> Stupid goblin. Ah! Isn't that <laughs> wonderful? Oh, it's so much is. Uh, bear, I, do you have a I name? Scarf, I scarf three pears. Miss Unicorn? You shake the tree and pears begin falling down. Yeah, you can scarf down three trees pears. As for a name for the unicorn, the unicorn applies. Oh, someone such as I, who is so benevolent, does not have a name. You may merely refer to me as the unicorn. What's all that blood over there, the unicorn? Oh, you mean in the dais over there? Yeah. Uh, someone was murdered this many, many, many years ago. Do you remember the rabbit's tail? Sonry is grave. Do the pears taste like pears? Place. They taste like pears. They're real pears. I continue eating pears. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> the blood is still there after all this time. Didn't they say that it happened more than a thousand years ago? Is that millennia old blood? How intriguing. Yes, it's stained within the soil. I mean, the marble. Uh oh. <clears throat> well, everyone else is enjoying their little soiree. The air around the dais is cold, seven pangs of longing. Eerily cold. It, the dais is flanked by many, a forest of stone pillars towering above. What do you do in your investigation? How just do you look at it. It's just a. I'll cast some uh, detect magic. See if it's different than the rest of this realm. You detect magic? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It seems as a non magical place. Ooh. Give me a perception check, actually. All right. Twenty-five. Sure. Like I said, it's a non-magical place. It does have weird vibes, though. Yes, it is. So cold. The air is cold and still. Which is unlike the rest of the garden, which is bright. Well, my investigation is complete for now. I'll back away. Back away then. Do it. Unicorn, then. that place has weird vibes. What 
whatever do you mean by weird vibes? I'm a, I'm a warm weather kind of gal. I like the sun and the warmth. It's all cold and gloomy over there. Haven't you ever noticed? Um, no, I've been here. And she means here in this exact spot. This, in this spot, the spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never move. I never move. For many millennia, I have done my sworn duty by hindering evil at every turn. Oh, how lovely for you, dear. I love that for you. You will not be lying to us, though, would you? By whatever, what do you mean by lying? Someone as good as me could never lie. I mean, you could. No. What about the gobbo? What's his story? Nom nom nom. <laughs> this, I climbed the pear tree. Thousands of years ago, I grabbed a bear and I threw it down to eat it. <laughs> and then that unicorn stole it from me. And I've been trying to get it back ever since. Sad story. I know. <laughs> Why is the unicorn so cruel to you? Oh, I'm not cruel. I am merely hindering an evil creature. Being cruel would mean I would be me I would be hindering a good creature. But since he is a goblin, he has no rights. <laughs> I am doing good acts by doing this. Sounds pretty cruel to me. No, I'm cruel. no you He's misunderstood. Just hungry. No. No, no, no. You misunderstand what it means to be good. But that's because you yourself are evil. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm eating your. Was yeah, I yeah, robotic? You were robotic? Yeah, you were robotic on my end, too. It is lag. <laughs> I'm looking at our connection. It goes in and you're, out of red. You're fine now. Yes, hey, I Goblin. am now. Goblin, what well, the unicorn legs? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, wait. He's not lagging anymore. As I was saying to you, dear frog, you must have personhood to be included within all. And since he is a goblin, <laughs> He's not. He has no humanity in him. He, he's not Goblin. considered as a person at all. Woo. Goblin, do you it's have a name? From the horse. Ah, uh, yes, I have a name. What is it? What is what? Uh, your your name. You have a name. What's your name? My name is Sir Lampkin. Oh, oh nice to yours? meet you. Huh? What's mine what? You see, Unicorn, this goblin here is named Bob. And no. And if he has a name, he is a person. No, he does not have a name. You merely just gave it to him. He is not a person and he has no rights. Why must you insist in feeding this goblin a pear? You know that is evil of you to do so. I'm no priest, but not feeding something that's hungry sounds pretty evil to me. No, no, this is a goblin. An evil creature. Use whatever magics you need to determine it. But as an evil creature, if you were to be helping evil, you will be helping someone to be murdered in the future, most likely. If you were to take the food away from him, he will starve to death. And you have quashed evil 
Therefore, you have done a good act. <laughs> but you have said you've been taking away his food for a thousand years. Yes. But he is still here. He's giving out. He's on his last legs. <laughs> I thought I was the bully. But look at his face. It is so cute. He, he, you see, you look at him, his hands reaching down his backside, scratching, digging for something deep before lifting it out and taking a big whiff. <laughs> Corn. <laughs> oh, I see how cute he is. Gablin, if you were to take this bear and then leave, would you actually go kill anybody? He has the bear. I can't take it from him. Yeah. Hey Bob, you got any money on you? Who? You. No. no. Ah! What you got? Put it here. Are you robbing me? <laughs> I'm offering you a trade. Trade What you got on you? Yeah, you want a short sword, a short bow, a club? You want my clothes? You want, oh, you want arrows? You want a pair? <laughs> he pulls out the pair. <laughs> Here, you can have a pair. He'll give you a pair. There you go. Oh. Hey, you can have a club. All right. I'll take your club. In exchange, you can have this pair. Ah, thanks. But uh, I don't see how that solves my problem. As he puts the pair in his bag. Eat it. What? Eat what? The pair. He has the pair. I can't take it from him. It's too big. He just gave you one. Give me what? I see, so it needs to be that pair specifically. It's like that stupid circus. <laughs> Please, fair unicorn. May I have that pair? Oh, of course you may have this pair. I see the goodness in your heart and eyes. Go on, take the pair. Oh, I take the pair. <laughs> All right, you grab the pair. Why are you in the way, Goblin? What? What do you mean? <laughs> Come over here. Okay. Check that pair for poison. Just a... Just an idle thought. Yeah, that unicorn's evil as fuck. <laughs> Hey, you got that right, big man. Ah, uh, Veen, I, I won't lie, I'm not well versed in the poison arts. How, how do I, how do I, do I wash it? <laughs> hey, you wash you it. You it or something? I sense motive on the pair. <laughs> Go ahead, give me sense That's motive. Such a paladin thing to do. <laughs> give me a sense motive. 21. This looks like a pear. I, I don't feel like it's been poisoned. Bob, this is what you want, right? What, what do like I want? To be poisoned? What do I want poison? Oh, I would love a poison. Luke, I'm just trying to give you this pair. Do you want it or not? Yeah, you can give me the pair, but I don't see how that solves my problem. Then what is your problem? A unicorn has a pair that I need to get. Sorry, I'm uh... Ah the pair's right here. <laughs> Waited for that one. What do you mean? <laughs> the... What pair? Sorry, I'm not very smart. I didn't realize this was an orison. The pear is not poison. <laughs> you watched him get the pear from the unicorn. Yes? That's the pear you want. Yes? 
Your point is? This will help you by giving you the pear that you want. Oh, shove it in his mouth. I but... shove that shit right in there. <laughs> yeah? I shove it in. He's, he, swallow, he swallows the pear. Yeah? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Mmm! Thanks for the pear! But I have a this problem. That I'm gonna kill him. That unicorn over there has stolen my pear! I need to um, get it back. I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> See? <laughs> no matter what you do, he's so unappreciative of it. Ah, you are a failed pro program, Bob. This is... You are dealing with the stupidity of evil. <laughs> Why is he broken and you're fine? I by looking and what do you mean in what regard? Probably because I am so benevolent. He strikes a benevolent pose. I can't stand this unicorn. Oh, Wait. how good of me. Is there is there a token here? Am I eating the token? What? I don't think so. But yeah, that's what I was gonna ask next. So we should just look for the token. Ah, yeah. Ah, Unicorn. Are you familiar with the Black Neeb? No, I most certainly am not. Also, in this context, what what is Neeb? The ballpoint of a pen. Is that really what it is? Yes. Yeah. Well, I guess let's go look, yeah? I said ballpoint, but it's whatever the tip is of a pen. They don't got ballpoint pens back here. Ah, the ballpoint of a quill. Makes sense. <laughs> ah, the ballpointed quill. That's next level. I'm full. I can help. <clears throat> Enjoy yourselves. Try not to get murdered. You guys go to the dais. The unicorn's evil as fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm not evil. I'm good. Wait, no, yeah, detect evil on the unicorn. Good and yeah. evil. Yeah. So the unicorn is good, and the the goblin is evil. <laughs> All right, just ignore the racism, unicorn. <laughs> I've heard many stories of unicorns. Broken. Yeah, no one has ever said that unicorns are so racist. <laughs> it's time for me to solve the, the mystery it's of this time place. time for me to solve the mystery. <laughs> it's time to brute force it. Right. You just have a little wine first. You just have you, a bit of luck first. <laughs> you want a little bit of music, too. Yeah, in a moment. Sure, just let me know. Let me just uh, open up my mind to all the possibilities of the world. There is no spoon. Did you know that? <laughs> no, I realized I, I didn't buy an adventurer's kit, so there has never been a spoon. Never needed one. So, <clears throat> you going to investigate? I am going to perform psychometry upon this place. Go for it. How long does that take and what does it do? It takes a minute. What is everyone going to do during this minute? Not burn rounds, that's for sure. Okay. Look for a ballpoint quill. Go for it. Give me a perception check if you're looking yeah. for a ballpoint <laughs> quill. <laughs> I'm looking for the nib. Also, Dr. Saffron, you should be, uh, you rest, press the rest button, because you rested. Uh, where is the rest button? On the front page of your character sheet is a rest oh, button. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go talk to the unicorn. Sure. But, 
you might be accosted real quick. Oh. Actually, no, you can go talk to the, go talk to the unicorn. Okay. Tell me what psychometry does. Uh, DC 15 appraise check, gain piece of information about the historical significance or last previous owner. <clears throat> okay. Learn one more piece of information for every 10 moments you check. Okay. So go ahead and make the check and tell me how many pieces of information you'll get. And what do you want to ask the unicorn? Yeah, ask the unicorn. I got to... I got little buffs. 29 perception, huh? Let's see. Well, the unicorn. unicorn. Oh, yes. Would you like to follow me to this spot just over here? Oh, no, I would not like to do that. For you are evil. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hindering <laughs> evil right now. <laughs> By not following you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Unicorn. But wouldn't oh. you consider going over there? Oh no, I think I should not. <laughs> nah. What if I go over here? Now will you go over there? Oh. You're going away from me. I think I will not move from this spot. <laughs> Strikes a benevolent pose. Behold my benevolence attack. I attack you with my pose. The pose. <laughs> Incredible. Splendid. Oh. Magnificent. Oh, how I hinder evil so. Hey, I'm B. Ovana. You should have B. O. talk to Gob. Oh wait, shit, yeah, we need Theo's perception. <laughs> I'm coming to investigate. Don't move yourself. Peter, 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 Peter. Fuck. <laughs> Theo, you're so elusive. Perhaps, you, what if you provided them some advice? Advice on what? They're looking for something. Is there some kind of token here, maybe? Having the slightest clue about any token. <laughs> Maybe what's the last thing you remember? Oh, it was a the person that came here. The whole that whole incident over there on the altar. Any details? Oh, many millennia ago, the dear prophet of this land was murdered by. Evil conspirators. Yes, like the rabbit prince and Zasseron. Oh, I have no clue who you're talking about. But they were evil people. Well, you really are quite oblivious then, aren't you? Oblivious to what? The things that happen around you within your immediate vicinity. Oh no, I'm quite perceptive. I've been here for mil many millennia, hindering this goblin. <laughs> yes, hindering the goblin from acquiring the pair. Yes, stopping evil at every turn. All evil or just this goblin? Are you going to join this conversation or do you want to search? You can come uh, if you like. Now I'll search. Okay. I use psychometry. Yes, yeah. we'll get to the group up there once, once we're done here. Oh. So what was it that you looked at? That you're trying to ascertain from this. Did you story? know that you're a fake unicorn? Oh, and you're a fake person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious though. You're not. You're not real. Oh, you just 
You evil people always like to trick. Look, look at your brother in arms right there trying to trick me again. Oh, he puts the mask on again. <laughs> 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 Evil so oh, that I'm not lying. Oh, sure, you're not. <laughs> of course, I'm not real. <laughs> it should be easy to prove it if you were real, wouldn't it? Oh, no, I should not prove it to you. Proving it to you would give you what you want, and you're evil. <laughs> Well, what if I want is actually for you to stand right here and continue doing what you're doing? <laughs> what are you trying to? Where are you pointing? Oh no, I'm, just, I'm saying what I want. What I want the unicorn to do is to oh, continue stand doing here. exactly as it's doing. Yeah. Give me a bluff check. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a bluff check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know your ruses. <laughs> <laughs> You want, you are using reverse psychology. <laughs> the tools of evil people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you caught me. Oh, I was. Of course I caught you. <laughs> you want me to stand here and keep doing what I'm doing? <laughs> No, you you go over there. Head that way. Head, head along this path. But I need to get the pair. It doesn't seem really productive. The pair's that way. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Easily believes whatever number you can pump out with a bluff check. Excellent. <laughs> Alright, that's all I'm doing for now. I can't think of anything else. Alright, before the goblin arrives here... Uh... Psychometry comes out. Four pieces of information. While well, everyone else is searching for a token around here. Four pieces of information is that this place was is not of any story significant, this garden. Rather, this garden is um was built as a resting spot. A world away from the fake fictitious world of the Herald Realm. It's like a vacation spot, right? A little, a, little, a little place for the owner, who is Sonare. Mm -hmm. You also know... Uh, you learn only information about the location or its owner? Uh, it could be either or. Okay, so you know whatever that... You, whatever, you, whatever you think is most significant, or what could have left the, like, the most psychic imprint upon this place. Yeah, okay. So Sonare went mad. As people do when they're stuck for millennia in this in a, within a, in fake a fucking world. fairy tale, she went extremely mad, and that was the cause. That was one of the main catalysts for the conspirators' betrayal. You also know that the conspirator that she was murdered by eight conspirators, each of them devouring parts of her body. Not the entirety of her body, just specific parts, giving her the power. Uh, one, uh, one, each one of her many powers. And what else here? And now you also know. Uh, number three, that her most prized power, her ambition, was stolen by Zasseron. And that you also know that her body still lives here, lurking at the Prophet's garden, waiting for something. However, while we are spending minutes here doing the investigation, something communicates to you, Lambkin. You feel a tap on your shoulder. As you see, standing in the middle of the dais, an eyeless hag with no tongue and a hole in the heart. No one else sees this. Everyone else is minding their own business searching. 
you see Biovena run through, saying, I'm Biovena! He sure is. And a telepathy. Holy shit. A communication of telepathy. It's not like, it's not common telepathy that you would think of where it's like her, you hear her voice in your mind. Rather, you get flashes of images and immediate of understanding of what she wants and what she's saying. <clears throat> you get an image of a duelist from the Kithart Academy in Taldor. He's standing on the table within a tavern, slaying every opponent, not slaying, but defeating every opponent and all the guests go crazy, wild, showering him with praise. You see a beautiful woman within the crowd, the duelist and her lock eyes, a flash of light, and now you're in a, a chapel, a temple to Serenray, while the duelist and the, the woman are wed. And then your vision zooms out, as you are nothing more than a spectator of your own life, of what it could be. It replays, you are in a tavern, you're standing on the table, trying to duel, but they all laugh at you. You walk in shame as the woman kicks you aside accidentally because you're only one foot tall. You spill your drink all over the ground and everyone pokes and makes fun of you. You simple, poor frogman denied his destiny. Denied his beauty, his fame, his right from his own goddess that he serves. Would you like to be human again, dear frog? I can make you human again. I have that power. I say no, but my journey is not yet complete. Do you say it in your mind, or do you say it out loud? I'm <laughs> probably both. Okay. <laughs> you guys turn while doing investigations. Uh, you're kind of focused, but you two hear him say that to nothing. Some small tears welling in his eyes. <clears throat> you, sh you see, you get the flash of the token. You mean you need this to help you on your journey? I can help you with that too, is what you get the sense of. Yes, please. If you would. Would you like to escape here, but born anew as a human? And this is all coming to you within visions, right? You just see yourself escaping the Herald Realm as a beautiful man. It is tempting, but alas. I know in my heart I have not grown the way that Shellen has wanted me to. For otherwise, she would have shown me the way. <clears throat> Shellen does not it does not it does not give you silence because you are not ready shellen gives you silence because she doesn't like you or you are saying she gives me silence for i am already well and beautiful <clears throat> Well, it seems as though... Are you stalwart in your resolve to not listen to her deal or bargain? You know, interesting that this hag is, like, talking with, you know, psychically and not actually speaking. It's almost as if she's mute, like a mute hag. No anyway. way. <laughs> Just food for thought. Making things up. <laughs> There's no mute hag here. What are you talking about? Uh, but no, I, I, you know, express feelings of sorrow and remorse, and I have heard a little of what has happened to you. It is truly tragic. No one, no one should have to go out that way. You see a flash of black in your mind, and then once again diverts to the images of, you can be human once again. 
Kind of like shutting off whatever you're trying to communicate there. No, I will, I'm sure. In the good time. When I have earned it. This... This offer stands only now. You will never be human. And you that is okay. You there's... should take the offer as you, the vision becomes red and you see hands choking you. You turn to see who it is and you see seven pangs of longing choking you. B.O. Why? Not B.O. It's seven pangs of longing. <laughs> Not B.O. B.O. Why? Why did B.O. do this? Why did he allow this to happen? <laughs> uh, can I, like, I can obviously sense your rage. Is this really seven pangs? Yeah, it, the vision she's sending you is that seven pangs of longing is going to kill you. And But if you were a proud human with the token, you could escape and f be far away from her grasp. He was talking to himself this whole time. Can can Kanaka just like awkwardly yeah, you, walk? Yeah, you guys to his... can straight up. If he's okay. speaking his words out loud in this one-sided conversation, you can walk up. I'm yeah, standing in his eyesight. Like I think I think the Sir Frog is turning into one of them. He's talking to himself. I know Kanaka. Please, five feet to the right. Five feet to the right. No, my right. You're right. Uh, lefty, righty, loosey, loosey. You did it. Anyways, Senora, please. It would not be enough if only I escaped. No, I have <laughs> loaned them long. They are my friends. You can see all of them escaping together. You need not much to complete the bargain. All she asks for in return is a pair of eyes, a tongue, and a heart. And you're surrounded by many of them. They don't need those to live. Lucky me, I don't have most of those. <laughs> you don't have any of them. <laughs> well, I suppose Bob didn't really need... No, wait, no! Real pair of eyes. Bob is a real person. I don't understand this racism that keeps coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Not the eyes of a story, Ken. Who are you talking to, Lam? Do you not see? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, we don't see anything. Snap out of it. No, Do I you see. Need more it, pairs? What's the lady? She was there. Do you accept the offer or not as the visions become. Angrier. I could help you, but I will not sacrifice myself nor my companions. Give me a diplomacy check. There's no lady. What do you mean, sacrifice us? What the? But you said you were going to open your third eye, Vin. Yeah, you did. I already learned plenty about this place. <clears throat> to know what she is seeking. But then you started having a senior moment or something. I, I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know either. She's loading. <laughs> She's so How do you know? Anyway, more importantly, Sonre is still here. Somewhere in this garden. Yes, I know she is. That's, that's what I mean. She's right there. No. That, that's right Bale. Here. But you're talking to her? What are you, what are you two arguing about? <clears throat> While you are talking to Lambkin, <clears throat> she grows angry at your refusal of the offer. And she strikes. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you came just in time, Jamie, to die. <laughs> oh, you came just in time to die. 
Excellent. I rolled initiative. It's time. She goes first. Wait, first time I haven't rolled negative initiative? Pog? Keep in mind the plus twos. She's still invisible to all of us, but Lambkin? No, she she's gonna... First round of combat, she appears. Ah. Wait, how can we... Oh. I deleted the one that was on initiative. Oh, uh, she was 22. Did Saffron have the plus two to initiative? Uh, I no. Okay, so then she then the mutag goes first. Whatever she wanted, you're a right to refuse her. Ah! She also went hopelessly insane in this place. I arrived just in time to get struck by her aura. Yeah, you said things that I didn't... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I need Kanaka, Lambkin, <laughs> Vin, and Saffron to give me reflex saves for half. Or take 60 damage. Oh, fuck. As a cone of cold rips forth from her hand. Half damage for you, Lambkin. Full damage for you, Kanaka. <laughs> half damage for you, Vin. Saffron? Ow. I'm trying to see Wait if I can use just the a moment. To any damage. Nope, I lose it as a, a black powder. Uh, Vin takes no damage. Okay. I finally get to use, I activate his trick that I put on Vin. Um, Astounding Avoidance. Pretty which cool. gives you... Is that evasion? It's super evasion. It works cool. for everything. Even like will saves and fort saves. Okay. Go ahead and use the ability on them. Oh yeah, that's right. It has a as a thing. Da, da, da. And you take half damage as well, uh, Saffron. Yeah. So what's the total? Uh, 30. Just 30 flat out. Okay. Yep. Astounding. Also, I have that on Lambkin as well. <laughs> Alright, Lambkin, go ahead and <laughs> you, you take no damage. Kanaka, you take 60. I hate the cold. Mm. And then I get hit with it too? No, you're actually outside the range. Just okay. you, you walked up and immediately saw a wall of coal in front of your face. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, and then we all conveniently grouped up during roleplay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yes, you did. It was worth it. Saffron, now it's your turn. There, there's no cover here. This this thing doesn't have cover if I shift up, right? Nope, there's no cover. Okay, yeah, shift up, full attack. Go for it. Let it rip, Beyblade style. <laughs> Damn. Embarrassing. Damn, too well. I got one more, I got one more. Miss, miss, go for it. Give me another one. Big crit. 18 what against touch fuck? is a miss still. Two, not good four, roll. Five. Those were not good rolls. Two, four, five. Seven pangs of longing. Before you take your turn, quickly, I... you see flashes, images within your head. You're looking for this token, right? Give me an eye, a tongue, and a heart. I know you have no conscience in you. All you must do is take it from them. That's all I need. And then you can go along your way. What do you say? Oh, I think you're much easier to kill than all of them. I stare at it. She's been hypnotically stared at. She has no eyes though, right? She has. She's immune to all gaze effects, so if that affects it, I don't think ga immunity to gaze affects it. Uh, it doesn't count as a gaze. No, it's like a psychic, it's like yeah. a psychic thing. 
Um, if she was immune to mind affecting, then it would not work. She's immune to some things. But not mind affecting? Well, we'll see. I will... Vanish. Whoa. Whoa. Oops, I did it on her instead of myself. She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and she's gone, everyone. And she's gone. Well. <laughs> <laughs> she's here. <laughs> no worries. Uh, excuse me. So that, I meant to put that spell on me. There we go. Here, <laughs> just one more time. There we are. <laughs> Goodbye. Cruise over here. Alright. Put a good old tree in between you and her. Yeah. That's me. Vin? Time for big misfortune. Go for it. Cast it. She has minus four to save. Why she have minus four save? Because Jamie exists. That's fucked up, you guys. What the? She's misfortune. <laughs> Big misfortune of Big her. Big misfortune. Oh no. What does that do? She re rolls all her d20s. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, we all turned on the setting because Mosin walked us through it. But if you click the purple bar where it says misfortune. It expands it, so you can read it. Ah, Sinka, yep. Sinka. So go Lampkin ahead. Lampkin Sheaves. The targets are... It didn't have to be this way. <laughs> it didn't have to be this way. <laughs> yeah, you're right, it did it. 23 misses, 27 misses as you stab into her and she feels nothing. Oh no. Kanaka. Ugh. Spooky. Uh, I would like to rage. Go for it. You're angry. So angry. Oh, I don't have displacement. My defensive rage. Ah, oh, shit, and I didn't dance. L Kek W Bozo Floor POV <laughs> Get floor POV <laughs> Okay, I just swing. Go for it. I do need displacement though, I don't I don't have it on my buffs. Don't worry, uh, it's not really a buff. It was remember that it's a 20% oh, right, chance right, right. to miss. Yeah. Go for it. I think. <laughs> oh. That it? Yep, that's it. Okay, thank you. That misses. Okay. It's her turn once again. You should. Does. 29 beats your CMD, Lamkin. Oh shit, I forgot to do my thing. So What's Lamkin hit her, right? No. Oh, no, never nope. mind. We're good. Oh, yeah, she's uninjured. Never mind. Does 29 uh, beat your CMD, Lamkin? Yes. You are grappled. No! And she's bringing you back. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. She likes you. Wait. Do I get AOL? No. She shifted back. Oh, she shifted. Got it. <clears throat> and you hear once again in your mind. If you don't want to be human, I'll make you into something better. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's your turn, Saffron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's not what I like to hear. Uh... 
Uh, yeah, Lampkin is short enough, right? Uh, that I can just shoot and it's yeah, no, no cover, no cover, don't worry. Okay, okay. There are tree, uh, marble trees, but if you move up one here, of course, you have yeah. straight line. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I'm just gonna shit, like try another full attack. Hopefully, I roll higher than a five. Go for it. Eighteen, sixteen. Mm -hmm. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Should have cleared. Twenty-three it hits. And your weapon's not cold iron? Nope. You have dealt, you know, a modicum of damage. Who knows from where, but she did four more damage in this roll to become not confused. Let's roll. I forgot to put Eagle's Splendor on myself, so my DC is actually only uh, 18. And right now it's 18, and she gets the minus four. Yep. Damn. I'm a fool. Oh, she rules twice. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh my. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. Take four damage then. I already did. <laughs> it's your turn, seven tanks. Okay. I'm gonna cast Eagle Splendor on myself, yeah. Okay. That's it. Eagle time. Vin. Eagle time. <laughs> eagle, uh, eagle, 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 I'm there. Uh, yes, please. All right. You owe me for this one, though. You You're bastard. no longer grappled. You bastard. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> Did she say that? <laughs> you see yourself in a dog kennel with a leash on top of you. <laughs> with a leash around your neck, Vin. <laughs> well, she's not supposed to have access to that. Anymore, <laughs> Right, you're no longer grappled. Because <laughs> you have been cast into Fuck freedom yeah. of movement. Peshka, you know what to do. What does Peshka know what to do? Oh, he knows. <laughs> I'm asking because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, it's an immediate action. Got it. Lambkin, it's your turn. You are not grappled, or you can escape grapple. Wait, what? You can you but you're not grappled because you so choose to escape grapple. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, okay. Um, channeling my inner frog, slip away. Yep. And do so a little it. jig in happiness. You still expend the action though to escape. Yeah, you have to you have to make the standard action to escape, unfortunately, but you auto succeed. Uh, you know what? It's still worth it. Kanaka, you know what to do. Uh. And then swift action, and I'm going to smite her, because she's obviously evil. Sure about that? No, I'm really not, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you what kind of hit or miss with it before. What performance is this? Uh, inspire Courage. Okay. One we don't care about. Yeah, we don't care about that. Uh, yeah, it's a free action to detect evil. Yeah, and she's evil. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty evil looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty evil. By the way, it gets smoted. She has a card that you you could pull at any time. Ooh, Yanaka, you know what card to pull. <laughs> that was, I'm pretty sure, all my actions. Sure. You still have a free action pull card, Sir Lambkin? You do it right now? Ah, free action. I reach into Vince's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> it's the asshole. 
<laughs> oh, prison That's bug. That's what he said. <laughs> My right. Ah, no, I didn't. God, he used the entire deck. He just threw all the cards at her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I can do it for you. What card would you like to use? Perhaps the hag that is mute. Ooh. Ah, the rebuts. Did we just use it? You, twice? you would, you would use it when I use it. She's double shiny. Double shiny. My eyes. Yeah, it seems as though that is the correct card you pulled. The pull. Now, I have a free action for you to do, Hag. Please die. Okie dokie. All right, now I'm done for real, Susko. Okay. Okay, now it is Kanaka's turn. I uh, shift. I'm so glad we have those useful cards. What is your performance, by the way? It's a dance, right? Or is it uh, you're playing violin for, in Mortal Kombat? Uh, for Bardic performance, it's my dance. Okay. Is it hello, my baby? Hello, my honey? 30 misses, 32 also misses, as you big hit crit. both of them. How the fuck? What do you mean, big crit? I tweaked oh, the odds. Oh, you tweak the odds. Go ahead and cast it. Woo! Nice. Alright. Roll another uh, Roll another attack roll for me, so we can see if you confirm it. I, uh, normal attack? Yeah, it's a normal attack. Uh, I'm going minus 5 to that. Minus five to that is 32. That misses. Oh, that doesn't confirm the crit. So you just hit normally. You hit. It would, it's not an auto hit, though, if I make the 19 a 20. So if that oh. 33 would have missed anyway, it still misses. 33 hits. Okay. So you just deal normal damage to her. You deal damage. She has some Wait, DR going Wait, you get plus one from fire? He has the buff on already. It calculates. Oh, okay. I forgot to mention the DCs of her spells and spell like abilities are reduced by four Why as I'm staring at her. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I dream, I'm eating her magic, it's mine. Okay, it's her turn then. Wait, cast, I get the bite! Cast a spell, I dare. Yeah, go ahead, you. bite. Get your bite real quick. Yep. Roll a 20. You Attack. failed. <laughs> Doesn't hit. Hmm, we're gonna cast defensively here. I don't think we can fail that. Alright. I'd like to identify that. What'd you say? I'd like to identify her spell. Oh uh, yeah. Go ahead, give me the spellcraft. She's casting invis. Oh. Well, that's um, not very exciting. What's the DC for her uh, concentration shot? A billion. It is... I was going to spell 17. reflect, but I can't spell reflect invisibility. That's just, <laughs> that's just lame. Oh, she also has the DC because I'm arcane blood raging. DC... Yeah, she takes a minus two. Yeah. Her roll was 31 at minimum. It's still <laughs> still massive as a caster. Well, oh, as a monster now, as a caster. Alright. It is your turn now, Saffron. Someone went invis. Oh, God. I have to actually hit them in order to fucking deal with invisibility. <laughs> Shoot red. <laughs> I'm invisible too. We're pals. We're meant ah. to be together. By the way, d am I am I still staring at her or did it snap? Like I can't tell where it is, but 
Yeah, if you can't see her, then you can't stare at her. I can right? tell if it, yes, no, actually, I totally, it, I still can. As long as she she's within go, the range increment? Yeah, so is she, with it, is she, it's 40 feet? Oh yeah, she's within range. Okay. Since that. She's somewhere. She's still nowhere. Somewhere. Okay, I'm going here, I'm ready in action. The moment she reappears, I'm just gonna shoot. Okay. Yeah, if she reappears within my line of sight, I'm gonna shoot. Because I have no idea where the fuck I, I can't do shit about this situation. Seven pangs of longing. Invis up. Yeah, so I've invis for three more rounds, unless I attack, which. Ha. 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 I'm gonna go put. another trick on Wait, Vin you look good you help you go you're looking confident and look like me he's looking surprise yeah I'm gonna do it on on Vin once more you have I'm just restoring the one that was spent so it's either smoke or astounding avoidance again whichever one's more useful does smoke do? It makes smoke around you, like, you know, gives you concealment. Maybe. I guess I could do... Because you already have... Um, Can I need more of that mirror image? You already have that one on you still. Oh, okay. I'll give you, instead of smoke, I'll give you a... Uh, uh, mask misery. In case you get hit with some weird shit. That's all. I'm good. Vin. She. You shift. And for big perception. Alright. Oh, that was big perception. Big perception. Yes, you you met her bonus. <laughs> hey, 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 she if she moved, she doesn't have that fortune. It's not plus forty; it's plus twenty if she moved. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is that it? No. Okay. I cackle. Stop! <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> Stop that! Anything else? No, that's all my actions. Actually, Peshka eats a scroll. Alright. Oh, he's Lambkin Chan. Lambkin Chan in the house. What do you do? No, so I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's probably just move and get flanking on Vin. Oh, fuck. Uh, but no, I prob yeah, I probably just move somewhere where she can't just shift. Hopefully, ideally. Ready in action. Wait, uh, no. <laughs> Let's not be in a line. <laughs> okay. Vin, you've got a big bodyguard. You'll be fine. Yeah. It's okay. I cannot die, no matter what. Come out, you witch! Okay. <laughs> Tanaka, your turn. I spit on her grave. Bam. <laughs> you spit, spit blood. on the ground. Uh, I have nothing to do. I buff myself. Okie dokie. 
mirror image. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Does that mean I get three? Inches. Yep. Yes, you get three. Sweet. You done it. Three images. It's her turn. The world becomes silent. It is... You guys can no longer hear one another. Unless you know. You pass a will save, right? Someone say will save? Yeah. We do that now. No, never mind. Don't make a will save. That's only if I targeted you as the creature. I targeted the creature. Uh. Ah. Got it. You guys can't hear shit. That's her turn. Saffron. All right. So still not doing anything. She made. She casts a silence. Yeah, I know, but she's not showing herself. No. Yeah, I'm holding. On, I'm holding on. I'm fucking. I'm fucking to take a defensive stance and shit. I'm just gonna continue what I'm doing. Yep, ready, ready action. action. Yep. Yeah. Seven pangs of longing. I'm ready. I'm prepared. <laughs> you readying what? <laughs> or uh, I'll just keep. I'll just buff myself. Cause why not? Who knows? Maybe hags like enchanting stuff. The spell, the silence. <laughs> Vin, it's your turn. Is, is the silence that important? All right, I'll dispel magic. Do you, do you want to not be able to cast any spell? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter for you. For you yeah. It doesn't She's make a, a difference to caster. me. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes a big difference for me. That's fine. I'll get don't, rid of it. Don't get rid of it. No, 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 you don't need to. <laughs> All right, go ahead and cast. Make a, a cast a level check with, your, with plus three. Mm-hmm. And it's against the DC, correct? No. It, it. I think it's just like eleven plus the caster level, right? Is the DC? Oh, go for it! <laughs> the unicorn <laughs> in the back. <laughs> just spell it, then, if you may try. I love that during this entire combat, the goblin and the unicorn have just been reenacting their scene yeah. the whole time. <laughs> well, that sucks. Oh, oh, he's shit. still yeah. silent. Vin, it is your turn. <laughs> Alright. It's a good Bye. thing the Bardic performance doesn't let, rely on sound. Go one either. more. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you just gotta see me fucking flippy flopping my legs. And, uh, Ashka will cast a spell. Poke his little head out of his satchel. Okay. What's Pesh gonna, gonna cast? See oh, in this. Just a spell. Not really like a useful spell or anything. It does not reveal oh. the target though. No, but Peshka knows where she is. They've been assuming. Square! I can see her now. Or at least I know her square. Yeah, Squaw! I'm pinging it. Yeah, I see. Okay. Lambkin, it's your turn. I point out where she is. She's in, you know, just above Kanaka right there. Alright, I got a plan. Yeah, I have a plan. It involves abandoning you guys. <laughs> Better cackle. Oh, stop that. Ah, 
unicorn, please. You are here to stop evil. There is something extremely evil up there. Oh, I'm stopping evil as we speak. <laughs> this oh, goblin God. is trying his I could have told you that would have happened. <laughs> I need your help to stop the hag, oh, the witch. No, no, I am stopping evil right now. I can't fathom what pulling the unicorn card did. I, I cannot tell. <laughs> oh, it did something. But it didn't I'll give you a hint. Uh, it's done everything the other cards have done so far. <laughs> anyway, it's all cosmetic. I could, <laughs> anyway, I could roll to convince it. Yeah, it's, but that's a minute long action to do that. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yep. You could convince him, but you would need to talk to her for a minute at minimum. So. Ah, damn it. Unicorn. Good luck with that. This unicorn sucks. <laughs> well, Lampkin, what else? You're here now. Unless I just get on the unicorn anyway. You sure? It's a battle. Okay. <laughs> They're in cahoots. The unicorn's evil as fuck. You no, trust me. <laughs> I've detected evil. Please, there is no time. That'll also require a diplomacy check, so yeah. enjoy 10 rounds. <laughs> That's also a t ten can't round. handle an animal on on him. Yeah, he's too smart to handle. So. No, no, no. Oh, I was <laughs> <laughs> All right, you walk um, back. This guy's inting right now. <laughs> <laughs> this whole world is stupid. <laughs> it was worth a try. Kanaka. I swing angrily at the air. Go for it. Every attack has a 50% chance to miss. Wow. It's like fighting yourself. It's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, roll the, I'll roll the miss chance for you. You just roll the attack, all right? All right. First one misses. Oh. The second one doesn't confirm, but could hit. If this is a 50 or lower, you miss. You hit. You deal damage. Nice. Alright, you also have a bite, if I recall. Ooh, and so do I. Oh, I'm gonna finally remember my, what was it called? What's the other one, Jam? Kernigo. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're intimidate because you hit it with the power attack. Yeah. It's minus if you, four. If you, if you really want to try to intimidate this hag. I'm yeah. gonna try and intimidate awesome. a ghost. <laughs> Let me. Intimidate it first, and then we'll see if confusing stare goes off. Ooh. Wow. What is this bitch's defense? <laughs> <laughs> it could be a mute, I don't know. It is... Hit 10, hit dice, wisdom... Oh, never mind. Yeah, she feels unafraid. <laughs> it feels like she's unafraid. Immune to fear. Yeah. Because she's a paladin. <laughs> Not immune to this, though. You don't know that. Uh, she takes a minus four to will, right? Yeah, no. Eagle Splendor, so it's DC 21. All right. Damn it. You, you roll twice. Roll twice. Oh, yeah, roll twice. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this all happening during my turn. Yeah, Stop this is it. all during your turn. <laughs> oh, my God. So well, much. At least she takes four damage. Yeah, she took four damage. And Where's a bite. That? Where is that coming oh, from? Oh, let's roll. Oh, good. Your bite. Fifty or lower, you miss. Oh. <laughs> All right, her turn. You gain visions of your death, Vin. You've made her extremely angry from everything you've done, from freedom of movement to your misfortunes. She no, knows no. all. Hell no. <laughs> and you're going to die here and now. No. She shows no mercy here and lets forth her strongest maneuver. First, we got uninvis to do it. She appears. She casts Cone of Cold, empowered. Point blank on you. I cast. Press. You cast what? I cast doubt. 
I would like to attempt it. It might. It's probably gonna fail, but I'm sure. gonna spell mirror that. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna kill Biovena? <laughs> Wait, you might. You also <laughs> kill fucking Kanaka. <laughs> That's fine. I got. This. Oh yeah. I get... It literally would just turn. Actually, I'm gonna write seventy-two. Die. So make a reflex activate. or take seventy. Okay, activate. I'll activate a astounding avoidance on him at least, at the very least. You cast. You don't need to do anything. What do you mean? Are you kind of literally? You can get can't there. You can die. get in their face, right? But when it's your turn, Kanaka, you can get in their face. So right? that's what this trick is for. Do you cast emergency force sphere? Yep. You are in a bubble. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your bird releases the scroll as immediate action. How much how much HP does that sphere More have? More than 72. Okie dokie. Yes, never mind. I, I can't even trigger the trick unless you actually have to roll a save. She pings <laughs> you once again with anger. <laughs> <laughs> I tackle. Saffron, it's your oh. turn. This as hag... I was saying, Kanaka, you can get there, right? You can. That's within your movement speed, right? It's like a couple feet away, yeah. Okay, yeah, easy. Alright. That's one down though, most and you're winning. <laughs> okay, I burn one grit point for Ow. That hits. What was that one grit point for? Is that targeting? No, my one grip point was for startling Shachis, but no save flat-footed until, until my uh, next turn. She also is flat-footed, you're right. This yeah. is a new round. I do it again, four damage and confusion. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I didn't think I would hit, but whatever, I'm not doing that much damage. Every time, as long as one person, one turn, every turn hits her, I get to do this. You know you don't do damage if you startling shot. I know. Oh, okay, my I know, I'm saying, I already said I did the startling shot. I want to do the startling shot. So oh. I burn one grit, yeah, startling shot, damage. she's flat-footed. Lame. She is flat-footed. It's alright. Also, you don't, uh, you don't actually spend grit to do it. You just have to have grit. No, no, startling shot is... Oh, never mind. I misread. Literally just read. I, I, I completely misread. Yeah, never mind. I thought it said that's really good. She she is flat footed now though. No Seven... save flat footed? Yeah. Seven hangs of longing. Da, 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 da. Magic missile. Magic missile. <laughs> I don't have any I don't have any like, spells that do cost damage. That that's really good. <laughs> This works, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. She's flat for okay. so one load. Sure. Let's try it. Overwhelming grief. <laughs> Alright. My invis is gone. Overwhelming grief. Minus four to her save? Yep. Okay. Nat 20. Oh, does she still roll twice though, Steven? Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my okay. god. Okay. Oh, okay. Cheating. Okay. Cheating. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was interesting. You seem to be quite lucky and, or either very or resilient. Good show, uh, Miss Hag. The whole fucking Nat 20. How the Um, alright, I'm chilling. <laughs> Vin, it's your turn. You're stuck in a bubble. <laughs> You're stuck there. <laughs> That's cool. Cackle. Starduster. Uh, that's a line of effect, is it not? Doesn't say it. I thought the bubble prevents you from casting outside no. the bubble. It Only prevent, line of prevents, effects. Yeah, it prevents line of effects like a fireball. Not line of sight. Interesting. No, so, it well, if you read it, it manifests it around her. Yeah, 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 you're good. 
she can't go in this anymore, is what you're saying here, though. Yeah, she cannot go in this, and she takes a minus three to her attacks. Okay. For four rounds. It is your turn, Lamkin Chan. Pitter patter. <laughs> Yeah, but first, we have to maintain I dance my way over there. <laughs> Try to get her with my rapier. Splendid. <clears throat> Go for it. Wait, is the silenceness still going on? Yeah, you yeah, see but the he, circle. He uses dancing, though. He doesn't use sound. Beautiful. 32 so is what you're telling me, huh? On her flat-footed. That hit is what you're telling me, huh? That's what he's telling you. Yeah. She takes damage. And it's might, so she gets no DR or whatever the fuck. She gets no DR. She takes the full damage there. All right. Yeah. Is she? She's not an outsider, right? She's not what? Outsider. No, she's not an outsider. No. Okay. We are the outsiders. True. Wow, Tanaka. I charge. Well, she's flat footed, right? Oh, yeah, I'm she is flat footed. I don't provide you flanking. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I was. If you, if you have the movement to get on that side, oh. you get the plus two from me flanking. Where was I here? Oh, yeah, wait. I'll activate the thing now. Now it. She took him. No. Speed it up. She takes four damage and she makes a save. I'm just gonna put the uh -huh. minus four. Oh right, she's yeah. flat footed. Got it. So I could just go there. Uh, she's she finally failed. Opportunity. Oh, she does. It's confusion time. She takes yeah. four damage and she's confused. If you hit space, it saves it so that you can, like, find your movement. Oh. There you go. Yeah. You just go like that. Thank you. Oh, what? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I run away. Take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> I stay up. No, man, if you get there through the wall. Is she immune to mind affecting? No, she's immune to certain mind affecting. Gotcha. Well, she is, she is flanked and flat footed, so. And confused. And confused, so yeah, roll. Don't roll a one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he, Man, he did it. That's not a one. <laughs> he missed. <laughs> that misses with flanking and flat footed? Yeah. <laughs> that misses. Was it a one? Does or it flat footed say? is the strongest, but it says two. If you click it, it'll show two. Yeah, okay. <laughs> She's just thick, heavily <laughs> armored. <laughs> Strength full plate. <laughs> No, she's got uh, that natural armor. I cannot bite, so that is all. Alright, Jamie, tell me what this D100 roll is. Okie dokie. 64. 64? I believe that's the best one. I get to kill someone. That's the uh, beat your own ass roll. Okay. So she, she spends her turn beating the shit out of herself and takes 1d8 plus strength modifier to hit them, hit herself with whatever's in her hand, or just her hand. 1d8 plus strength modifier? Yeah. Alright, she'll just do that. Rolling 1d8. She has nothing in her hand. Six, just a good old claw. 6 plus 10, 16 damage, plus minus her DR. Got it. She has okay. DR on herself? Yeah, <laughs> she's the on herself. What? <laughs> her skin's thick. <laughs> she can't even pierce her own skin. <laughs> and that's all she can do? Got it. Yep. Go Saffron. Wait, did she just lose a turn? Yeah, yeah. she attacked herself. <clears throat> she Pokemon <laughs> she Pokemon <laughs> attacked herself. <laughs> the hag hurt itself in confusion. Literally. <laughs> I could just give you guys another turn. Like, there's nothing saying I can't chain startling shots. Didn't she just have to hit it? That's it? 
No, I don't even need to hit it. <laughs> you intentionally missed. Okay, go for it. So, yeah, I mean, flat footed is her. Flat footed is like the weakest debuff you can put on her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's still it's something. It's still something. Yeah, that's true. That's something. It's something. You can shoot. But her can... touch is very fucking high. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna see if I can. It, fuck... Stop rolling fucking four. <laughs> well, even when I hit, I don't do that much because I don't got cold iron. Yeah. If you're real below you have cluster 10. shots. Stop missing. You have cluster shots. What were you saying? You have cluster stop shot. missing because you have no, cluster no, shots. No, no, not you. Lampkin. Lampkin was saying if you roll below 10. Oh, yeah. If you roll below 10 multiple times again, I'm going to request you clear your cache. <laughs> I'm going to report you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Full attack. Twenty-five them. hits. Twenty-one hits. Two attacks. That misses. Cringe. And your gun backfires. Not backfires, <laughs> but it's broken, right? No. No misfire? Got it. Yeah. Boom. Boom. I only applied okay. DR once, right? Yep. Okie dokie. Seven pangs of longing. I don't forget a painful stare. Stop this. <laughs> you stop this right now. Uh. Oh right. This is a new round. Wait, what did I trigger? What did I trigger it before? A Kanaka hitter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it again. Run it back. Oh man. <laughs> Four oh, man. damage. Confused for another round. <laughs> oh man. It's your turn. Seven pangs. And then my own turn will. Uh, Hello, Sir Lamkin. Give you a little touch with a a little fluffy plant finger. Give you and reapply your your thing, your trick. That's all. End turn. Nice. <laughs> Vin, you're stuck in a bubble. Yeah, it's cool in here. <laughs> stuck in a bubble, fool. Kanaka. Uh -huh. Very fortune. Anything else? And I cackle. Stop that. Lambkin. Alright, first things first. Oh, Pashka eats a scroll. We keep the party going. Party don't stop. Now she gets the full attack. Uh oh. It's the paladin. Finally doing paladin things. And then plus two from flanking, right? Yep. Plus two from flanking. <laughs> oh. You, conf you do not confirm a crit. <laughs> you deal damage. No. Did you and spike? she's not flat footed, so the second attack yes. misses. She is smitten. Smitten. And no DR? She no takes dude. 31 in total then. Uh, let's tweak the odds. You gonna make the second attack hit? I'm gonna make the second attack a crit. <laughs> All right. Wait, no, I can't. No, no, I can't. I don't, I don't use this on him. I forgot. Got it. He's cringe. True. You can never, you can never tweak Lampkin's odds. Got it. This guy's Kan keen. Kanaka, it's your turn. Oh, finally! Full attack. You can reroll one of these. Alright. Choose wisely. 23 misses, 28 misses. Yeah, reroll that 5. Jesus. 
<laughs> Don't forget your uh, plus two point. Life is pain. You've missed all time. Jesus. It led me down here. Ah, I still got a bite. Bite? Really <laughs> led me down here. <laughs> All right, Jamie, let me know what she does in yes, her confusion. Sir. 20, 87. Oh, no. Yeah, attack nearest creature. Oh, God. Your choice. A bill, no. <laughs> <laughs> I really, in her motivation, the most likely target would have to be her, but you're not in the nearest. So we go. My mirror images turn. count as one each. <laughs> no, we count as we count as the second anger. Yeah. We want to kill her, then him, then him, and the anger per and the anger <laughs> tree. You, <laughs> the you've anger been right. Tree. She's a very uh, anger focused person. I am targetable. I feel that. You have a, a bubble around you. <laughs> very visible bubble. Uh, does forty two hit Lemkin? Oh, that hurts. Real bad. Take 16 damage. 33 hit. 13 damage. 37 hit. 16. Go ahead and press them buttons. You know if you highlight next to the damage is a button for full now. There you go. No parry. Oh yeah, I guess it. Uh, ooh, thank you, sir. Can I beat a 42? Probably not. So we'll subtract sure. her second one. Yeah. Fuck are you? Go for it. You may attempt a parry. You wow! Oh, plus two from Frank. <laughs> you parried. Gain, regain. It doesn't have to beat me. It meets. Regain thirteen. Uh, what was her? Well, what? Yeah, whatever. I'll come back. Repost. However, yes. it seems as though that repost was destined to fail. But the story weaves and bends, <laughs> and her attack is the guided straight to your rapier. Saffron. What? It's your turn. Oh, okay. So, so no, okay, so no I misunderstood gun, gun training, but all it is is I have to just burn a move action, and then my gun is fine. Yep. yep. You just move, yeah, and I'm then just gonna clear. I'm just going to click clear, and then Quick clear. Yep. Still have a standard. Yeah, no, yeah, um, no, no. Quick clear is um, if I burn a move action and it grit, it's a move action. Okay, so you standard yeah. quick clear. Still have your move. No, my move is quick clear. You still have your standard. I, yeah, my standard. I'm just gonna shoot. Got it. Vital strike time. Oh, you crit for 104 damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, bruh. Instantly dead, even though she was close to death anyway, but instantly overkilled nonetheless. <laughs> Alright. As her, with one shot, her head is blown cleanly off, landing right on top of your head, pushing your fez to the ground. I would also like to uh, oh. fluff that it just grazed the tip of the feather on Lambkin's hat. Lambkin, your feather is now broken. It takes a minus two, whatever the feather is. Fuck. <laughs> My feather. Well, and with that, you see that what comes out of her, bo her hollow body and through the gaping hole in her neck. A token. Ooh. Yeah, that was easy. Well, a kill shot is a kill shot. Oh, never mind. Who took ah. it? It wasn't clickable for me. I just want to know who took it. Who clicked it? Oh, I tried. All right, then Not it's me. you. <laughs> then, it is, <laughs> then it is you. <laughs> All right, I'll Can give it to you. Bubble image. from me. The no. black nib. Hey, it's now in your inventory. Oh, wait, yeah, it's in your inventory already. Oh, I did get it. Okay. Yeah, you got it. 
Um, how long does that bubble last? Not much longer. That's kind of a handy trick. I'd like one of those. What's happening? Oh, channel energy. <laughs> Ooh. Biovena has been healed for once. <laughs> well, I didn't think I'd get a chance to use this on anything in here, but let's uh, let's give this a shot. Peshka. Peshka. You know what? To do. Peshka flies out of my satchel into your sphere. And begins uh begins stripping the flesh from the mute hag. <clears throat> the mute hag. As Peshka creates a treasure map from her flayed skin. <laughs> what does this do exactly? <laughs> creates a treasure map leading to the most valuable thing this creature knew of in life. <laughs> in life? <laughs> All right, so this is the a... map reveals the locations of what the creature deemed most valuable within its area. So, yeah, there is something valuable that that is kept very. In the you see a dotted line in this right here. <laughs> it, it, it leads well, to the page. Yeah, it's a map that leads the map, to the pear tree. That's yes, I'm saying. The dotted line leads straight to the pear tree. Okay. I guess that was a bit anticlimactic. <laughs> okay. Maybe there's something else there, though. We should uh, investigate the pear tree again. Really, food wasn't the most valuable thing to her. Surprise. Why not? It was Bob. I sheepishly pick up my fez, and I think of Bugwushka. To the great head, Good great. job, everybody! You did big criminal activities! You showed up to people's homes and killed them where they stand! That was a person? It had arms oh, and legs. It's an like evil, yeah. evil ghost lady. She had the gall to try to get me to take your heart, ears, and or eyes, or was something like that. I wasn't paying too much attention to the specifics. <laughs> Truly a preposterous notion. I'm sure you'd never do anything like that. Exactly. That's what I told her. Well, you see an empty pear tree. And these two once again in their loop of the argument for the pear, but the pear is no longer there. Should I bother percepting this pear tree? Yeah, sure, if you want to perceive it. Just look around for anything anything secret on this pear tree? Anything we might have missed in here? Right. The, the, one of the branches is very... It, it's very it's very secluded. It's hard to see, but one of the branches folds as two hands clasping. There's something tightly clasped within it as if it's held within there not for no for no access for anyone else to have it seems as though magically imbued there's something up there mm. pears <laughs> not just that there's pears up there <laughs> all right i guess so give me a hand here then what do you mean, give you a hand with what? Start climbing the tree. Is it up in the tree? Yeah, it's oh, up in the tree hand. branch. Yeah. Between two, those two branches right there. Uh, is this an easy one where I just take down? Just yeah, you, you can climb the tree unless someone wants to shake the tree or something. It's easy. <laughs> but <laughs> you should just make it harder for me. <laughs> yeah, you get up to this this branch this secretive branch, you get to the point where it looks like two hands clasping something. 
and you try to pry it open, but it will not budge no matter what you do. Is it magically what? sealed? Have Peshka look at it. Yeah. It's a tree. You chop it. I chop tree. <laughs> you chop the tree? Give me an attack. Right? I don't, don't, don't chop the tree down. It's yeah, a source yeah, of food. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So Peshka detects magic? And yeah. You get the same situation that you have ran into before. Yeah, it's definitely magic, but whatever enchantment is it is more keen to bullshit than a school it's fictitious there's an element to this type of magic that you kind of understand but it seems as though to me as the dm you don't fully understand it so i don't i won't explain it but yeah <laughs> once again it's a fictitious magic Hmm. Do we have a card for tree? Do you have a card for tree? Can I can I chop it? Just that one little spot. Uh, you mean break the branch? Yeah. Should we go for it? I don't know shit about magic. <laughs> uh, Vin, does that break it? Do we break the branch? Hmm. I mean, it's magic, right? You take the branch off, it's still going to be magic. Let's try dispelling it, Seven. I'm a unicorn. Give me the pair. Oh no, I don't think you shall have that pair. Maybe if we kill the goblin, the tree will open its arms. I... Huh? Uh -huh. What? <laughs> don't worry, you're a unicorn. Oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm a unicorn. <laughs> Scramble to put it back on. <laughs> yeah. Seven? Seven? Oh, seven pangs of longing. Say your full name, please. It's rude. I'm a rude guy. <laughs> That's all right. You can call me pangs. Please. You no, know, what, what? Sorry, what do you want? Dispel that tree. The branches. All right. Pew. You cast the spell magic. Seems as though it has no well, it seems as though it has no effect, but you don't know whether it's because it has no effect or because you just suck. It has no effect. <laughs> Couldn't say why. Why don't you break the limbs off and bring it with us? I heard break. <laughs> <laughs> you immediately just slap slash a giant a giant portion of the branch off. The arms open up and give nothing. And another pair of arms reforms once again on a separate branch. Whoa! The pairs on top on the limb fall at your feet. Oh, this is kind of disturbing. That was cool. It's like mutilation. Your venom loves pears. I remember the time I ate a pear. It made me so happy. I was with Girl. olive oil wife. Girl, we weren't supposed to use the unicorn here. Is it even hiding anything, or is it just... Well, there's definitely something in there. Hmm. The unicorn is still sparkling, is it not? Oh, yeah, the unicorn. It, it fades, but if you like start paying attention to it, like, like, is the card still in effect? Yeah, it's still in effect. Yeah, like, don't worry about it. Then 
the cart is still active. And this unicorn is quite stupid. <laughs> oh, I am not stupid. Stupidity is <laughs> for evil people. I think that goes both ways, darling. No, 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 no. It sees all stupid people are evil. Theocracy <laughs> is the heart of evil. Think of every bigot you know. They don't believe that their actions are hateful. No, rather their brains are so smooth and malleable that any demigod can fill their head with conspiracies and delusions. Therefore, stupid people are prone to evil. <laughs> And since I'm good, I must be so smart. A smart, pretty horsey. If this tree was holding something, how do we get it? Oh, it holds pears. <sighs> and you may yeah. imbibe upon its pears. For it is the heart of goodness to share with other creatures. All right, give me... Everyone take ten. I'm gonna confer. Yovena takes ten. Ancient wisdom. Sure. I'm going to divination on how to... How to release the treasure from the tree. Go for it. Uh, yeah, I do it. Ninety percent chance to gain a useful piece. Give of me info. one D D one hundred. If you roll ten or lower, you get nothing. Wait, is it has to be secret? I think it's a secret roll. Hold up. Let me read. Don't worry, I got you. Okay. <laughs> So, what you know <clears throat> is your ancestors, you gain visions of the Sarni tradition, your travelers, and you are quite familiar with the harrowed tales. They are passed down from generation to generation. And you know, you get the insight that all this magical, weird magical effects that are fictitious and not real schools, they must be manipulated by manipulating the story or by abiding by the story. The story of the unicorn. The unicorn is a very, is a good creature. However, when misaligned, you know that goodness is, can often be misguided. And that you can start, when being too um, rigid with your understanding, with your labels of what is good, you now start mislabeling what is evil, right? Because often or not, people who believe themselves are good don't actually see the black and only see it as black and white. So, well, you don't know the other cards at play here in this situation. You do know that one of the stories is the unicorn. And by solving the unicorn's blight, his, you know, bigotry, you may solve a reward. It seems as though a, a clever lock for a storyteller like Sonray to make, don't you think? Mm. Ah, it's easy. We just end racism. <laughs> Simple. Simple. And racist. Yeah, well, I had never thought about it before. What did you think of I have one idea, but I have to sift through my memory here a little longer. What if we take the side of the goblin in this little dispute? We already tried that. And kill the time. unicorn. I think that might be going a little too far. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, assuming Vin shared this with us, his yeah. divination? 
Okay, so are are we trying to solve the plight of the unicorn or solve his bigotry? We're trying to solve racism right now. <laughs> oh god. It's both. You see, the plight of the unicorn is that he is a racist. <laughs> By solving the racism, you solve the blight. Like I said, you'd court evil. I'm not evil. I am good. We just got to do that Darren Brown thing when Darren Brown made that guy not racist by gaslighting him. Wait, I have an idea. If I kill all the children within the immediate vicinity, do you think I can get the pair from him? What children? I've done it! <laughs> Give me the pair, I'm a unicorn. Look at me gallop. Hey, <laughs> oh, I think I shall not do that. Do you think there's any chance this is the idiot? Everyone we've met has been an idiot. Mm, Not you, Bill. Hey, I'm very smart. Yes. I've taken many blows to the head, yet I'm still standing. <sighs> oh, Bill. How do you solve this unicorn's racism? <laughs> mm, I don't know. Maybe if you just stop seeing it as a one-sided problem. Be or Vena remember when his friends would argue all the time with one another. And when they argued, they lost track of me and I got beaten up by many other people when they weren't paying attention. So arguing amongst friends... At the end of the, the lesson learned... Is that your friends are the greatest power, Lambkin. It applies here, doesn't it? Bill. Yes. Oh, I had nothing more. He just said Lambkin and got really close. Oh, no, I said the friendship is the greatest power of them all, basically. Well, we tried shoving the pear in his mouth. That didn't work. Took the pear away from the unicorn. Didn't work. It's all in in the in the cards. I just don't know if. Well, the tree grew back. Maybe if I do kill the unicorn, his head will grow back, if we're wrong. Oh, if you were to kill me, that would be evil. I still think you're evil. Oh no, I'm good. Definitely have to play a card. Just not sure which one. Two, well, two me, ideas, though. Let me have a look through these cards. There might be one or two. Ah, unicorn. Why? Why what? Do you not My... see the great power that comes when you are able to cast aside your differences? You look at my friend, the alligator, and you say... You are evil. Oh, I do. do I but do, do you that know what I see? Do you know what I see, though, when I look at my friend here? First, I see him for who he is. He is Kanaka, and he is my friend. I've not known him long, but I know that, despite his rough exterior, he is a very soft and sensitive soul. His hat he wears is a reminder of his bubble. Um, Can I also get a plus four from my dance? 
<laughs> you say, say okay, so you say all this, but you're dancing while you do it. Like he made it into a song. It's game. interpret. Yeah, you got it. I'm a bard. At, <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I get it. Like, look at like Disney. You know, kind of stroke. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I roll with a bluff eight. Good thing I had that bluff eight. <laughs> oh, let us see what the DC is. Oh. Oh. Oh, did you put the plus four already in? Yeah, they're both in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, the two on the roll. Got it. Oh, so sweet and innocent you are, Sir Lampkin. <laughs> but, but you must understand that your viewpoint in the world is naive. You do not know what evil is. Think about it. Why has he kept me companionship for all these millennia? It's because he was harboring evil thoughts. He wanted to steal from me. Even now, within his empty brain, he thinks of only bad thoughts, like murdering children, stealing from the innocent, and probably other nefarious goblin viewpoints. He can't help it. He's evil by nature. Sure would be a good time for someone to assist. Would Especially you like twenty five? Would someone like to say something and assist? But you have to say something good for this retroactive assist. Well, uh... <laughs> Steven. <laughs> Steven, I, I got it. I got it. Uh, okay. Does a good creature starve another creature, regardless of alignments? Are you guys trying to convince a racist to stop being a racist? You think that's gonna work in the real world? Uh, I'm trying to Talking lead about on the part where it says it's good, but I haven't seen one time when I'm convinced that this creature is good. Only way to stop racism in the real world and this world is magic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I agree with that. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. All right, let's let's throw down some cards, I guess. Why has my broadcast oh, we're, ended? What are, we're, we're doing an assist thing. Uh, our the roll's not shit. done. Yeah. The roll isn't done yet. Yeah, the roll isn't done. We just needed an assist. It doesn't need to be a twenty-four. It could be a fucking seventy-five. It doesn't matter. Quit impeding. Yeah. Let Can Sir Lamp. I, for one, find Sir Lampkin inspiring. If Sir Lampkin is clearly a noble knight, sense motive. <laughs> if what, he, more than anyone here, understands what goodness means. Sense motive. Uniform. <laughs> Are you lying? <laughs> I'm. I'm speaking. Okay, continue. Talking. Continue. Oh God, the unicorn. We can go for it. Continue <laughs> speaking. I would assist with this bluff. <laughs> All right. Or you hinder with it. Let's see. <laughs> not even. <laughs> not even close. Get out of here. You so you assist with the bluff, and he gets a plus two. I I get a lot of that. Yeah. Mm, do drive a hard point. But you do not see the evil that he that this goblin pertains. This goblin wishes to kill and murder my kind. If he had his friends with him, I would be dead, and all the pairs would be his. Ask him yourself. Will he would he murder me at the first chance? Well, Goblin, what do you say? Hey, if what? this unicorn were to even offer you a pair, if you yeah. had your friends here, 
Yeah. Would you really murder it for no reason? Oh, yeah. That thing's terrifying. It's a horse with like a a horn on it. <laughs> God, Even God, wait. And I'm pretty... Have you ever, have you ever heard of lying? Yeah. I lie all the time. Try it now. Right now? Yeah, right now. Give, give it your best shot. Oh, all right. I'll try right now. Quick, tell them flanked. Tell them you would never harm anyone. Not okay. if you caught a sweet, juicy pear. Wait, what does that have to do with lying? Is that a... Just say it. Just say it, you little fucker. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but do you want me to lie while I still say that? Just, just say it. Say those words verbatim. Do Wait, it. What are the words again? You would never hurt a soul if you only had a what, but one sweet, juicy pear. What? Well, and you want me to lie simultaneously, right? Is that just say it? Forget the liar. Is that not a? Just, just say it. I would never hurt a soul. Do I lie now? Boom! He said it. You heard it here first. <laughs> if it was just for one juicy pear, and then you. He's, you smell something rancid come from the goblin. Rancid? What did he? What? What, what did he shit himself? He told me the lie, right? Oh! You said lie. Oh, I did the wrong thing. <laughs> what well, did he I'm do? convinced. What did he do? I'll let your nose figure that one out. I'm done with it. Take <laughs> our key and get out of here. I think we've been going about these cards the wrong way. I think you can't just play one card. It's got to be like an actual heroine. You have to tell a story with multiple cards. Ooh, I like stories. Well, well, we have two with this set up there. The hag, the unicorn. Hey, I don't know. I don't know if the hag is related to the unicorn. I think she might have had her own story. They're both together in the same tale. Don't be absurd. You put two actors on the same stage. They're part of the same story. Really, really on the same stage? Oh! Huh? Wait. Maybe you're both right. You gotta play more than one card, but all the ones in this story. Unicorn, were you here when Saren Ray was murdered? Saren Ray? You mean... Ah, Sun uh, Son Son Ray, sorry. They're so similar. Oh, uh, oh, I mean... <laughs> Son Ray? Oh, yes. The, like I said before, the great sage was killed by eight conspirators. I saw them, but I was keeping this goblin at bay. He might have joined in if it wasn't for me. But in, in keeping this goblin who just wanted a pair, you let Sonoray be murdered. That's pretty friggin' evil. No, I did not. Worse, you stood by idle here. Oh, I see what you're trying about. But we can only ever ask to do as much goodness as what we are capable of. Do you expect the infant, uh, the innocent, pure child to rescue every cat from a tree? Of course not. His arms are too small. Merely the sentiment counts. All right, look, I'm, I'm going to play some cards. If they don't do anything, I owe you guys one. <laughs> Stanley and I won't owe you one. No, definitely not. Oh, hell yeah. Do it. <laughs> All right. Unicorn suffers from the corruption of the soul. So, 
when you cast blood of bed. And when you cast the sickness, the only thing that lights up is the corpse, <laughs> the corpse of Sonare. Back up there. Ooh. I don't know if I can make a story of her being dead already though. I mean, kinda, that is the source of the sickness. She died, and multiple stories went bad. I would have imagined her other card being, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Lost. And, like, I can play it now, right? But she's kinda dead. Maybe, maybe maybe we should have played the mute hag, the sickness, and then the lost, and like misaligned the lost could have brought her back to sanity. Well, hopefully the order doesn't matter. Just play him. Yeah, we to play the lost and see if that that happens. But did we end racism? She's dead though. <laughs> She's one dead. One step at <laughs> a time, Bill. One what? step at a time. That's one way to solve it. She, the Sanrei is dead on there. You did kill her up there, so even if you use the card incorrect, is it useful? You tell me. Maybe it has some special reaction. We would have known that. That's the that's the deal. You play three cards to tell the whole story, and then you get what you want out of the story. So though, if it's not the uh... it's not sickness that's corrupting the unicorn. I'm not corrupted. Shut up. Racism's a sickness. I'm not uh, a racist. Again, the unicorn may have a point. Perhaps it is sickness crappling the goblin. So at least the sickness wasn't wasted. Unless we could have used it somewhere else. Yeah, the, the last that proves my theory, one. though. Multiple cards for the situation. Oh, yes, it you was. just gotta find out. It was the mute hag and the sickness. I still say he might be the idiot. Just look at him. Who are you calling an idiot? Yeah, I said he. He yeah. could refer to idiot is a card of grave foolishness. What? I wasn't talking evil. to you. I was talking to him. Who are you I calling him? Like... What? <laughs> Foolishness, greed, bribery, blackmail, naivety. Huh? You don't even have a pair to go after anymore. No. What? He has it. That's of course I don't have a pair to go after because he Where? has the unicorn has it. He stole it from me. I'll see it. The unicorn technically gave you the pair, for he gave it to me and I gave it to you. Wait. They can be misaligned, right? Who are you calling misaligned? Anyone here is misaligned. It's definitely you. Oh, no. Yeah. It could be the paladin. Oh, the paladin, you say? Do I look like a paladin? <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling Lamkin's not the only misaligned paladin in this garden. Oh, <laughs> what? The un unnecessary, but also impressive. You mean Bob is a paladin? I'm who? A Bob? <laughs> Bob. We gotta take some for the team, all right. We gotta figure this how this shit works. All right. N nothing. Fuck. It's so perfect, though. Misaligned the paladin. Indicates need to stay the course. When no, when you know it's right, even if it takes a heavy toll, and then it's misaligned, the course could be foolhardy. That assumes that my course is foolhardy. <sighs> <laughs> I liked my original idea. To be honest, it's becoming is is it not becoming a little more attractive by the moment? What was your original idea? Murder the unicorn. We oh, asked the unicorn a nice question. Oh, you cannot 
kill me? That would be evil of you. That's good that you're evil. So it would be good if I killed you. No, I've only ever helped you. Did I not share this bountiful pear tree with you? Who gave you the right to own the pear tree? Oh, I do not own it. I care for it. Isn't it not, not in pristine condition for you? So you didn't give us anything. You're just taking care of something that doesn't belong to you. Oh, I'm taking care of it for such a good friend of mine. Who? Is it the one you let get murdered? Who was murdered? Who's your friend? Oh, a lovely lady. Go on. Uh huh? You have reached one of those points in the story, yet, yeah, and it's not written. Uh, <laughs> it's broken, too. But we already know, for the unicorn told us, this tree belonged to the sage, Sonare. Yeah, the one that let get murdered. Yes, one and the same. Ah. Do you see the problems you have caused, Bob? Yeah, I understand completely. When the stock market crashed, it was me. I did it. I did all of it. <laughs> 2008 wasn't a good year for me. I'm sorry. He's sorry. You hear that? He's good. Who's good? I'm pretty bad. I'm badass. <laughs> You're also bad at being bad, so you must be good. What? What? A what? You just say? He's bad at being bad, so he's good. What? What? <laughs> what? A what did you just say? <laughs> oh fuck, Kanaka's entered the loop. Make make a diplomacy check, Kanaka. Oh god. <laughs> Diplode. Oh god, I have no diplo. Yeah, plus four. That's something. No, hey, I'm pretty sure he is quite good at being evil. He was born evil after all. As a goblin, all he does is raid and pillage people. Yeah, all I do is raid and pillage people. I've done it you? many times. Yes, I've killed so many people. Remember what? your family, Lampkin? Uh, I killed them. That no, was me. Fine. What? Yeah, no, my family is fine. They went to a farm upstate. Then who did I kill? Exactly. Who have you even killed, Bob? Oh, so Wait. many people. He only says he does bad things when you say he did bad things. You're implanting evil in him. <laughs> he begins, he, he starts hitting like walls in the story every time trying to list people he's killed and murdered. Do you remember <laughs> the people you have helped, Bob? Like my friends, did you not help us? Get the pairs. I've never once helped a friend in my life. I don't have friends. Aren't we your friends? No. Who are you? I mean, at this point, we've only been talking for like three hours. I pull another card. Just and I have try. an idea. Okay. Are you, are you stopping me from pulling a card? Which, wait, which card were you going to pull? The idiot. No, no, no. Don't, don't do the idiots. I have yeah. a better idea. I swear to God, Stephen, if it ends up being <laughs> if it's the idiot, idiot. <laughs> if if this one fails, you can try the idiot. All right. <laughs> okay. I think everyone here is stupid. Oh, we are not stupid. We all cannot go about the, outside the curse of it. 
Snake bite. Unfortunately, a false card. Oh my fucking god. There's no way. You're, you're reading way too, in, too much into the, the Wikipedia descriptions of these cards. It's literally perfect description of this man. He says okay. poison the minds of the virtuous. Pull it. All right. I did. Did it. The goblin Mother lights fucker. up. <laughs> See, you're overthinking it, Steve. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to turn my brain off forever. How do you feel now, goblin? Huh? Still evil? Yeah. Do you feel evil? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're good now. Don't you feel good? Oh, I... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> if I'm a paladin of good, and I just slapped you with my slap of goodness... Hey, you have done good! You are good. N no? Yeah. No? You've hindered evil and done a good deed by slapping him? <laughs> well, Bob... Do you feel good now? Because you're good. I feel pleasant. Uh -huh. Pleasantly good. I, f I feel something. Would you it's like good. to kill me? Would you yeah. like to murder me? Oh, yeah. That was good. It's the type of good. Salam can... You're adorably mimicking the acts of that unicorn. You don't understand that by slapping the, the creature. All right, but you need to understand. We will slap the evil away. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what did I say that time? It appears we've gone in a circle. No. Why do if these was... cards do nothing? <laughs> Test? Mm -hmm. Yes. Alright, so the internet's going on and off, and I can't really have a recording of it. I think we should shelf this scenario, or you should just admit your defeat. I'm not moving on until I played every fucking card <laughs> in the deck. <laughs> don't do it. Yeah. Um, I don't care. Don't you guys they have spells and stuff sparkle. like that? <laughs> you have... used all my spells. I don't you used all spells? your spells. Huh. Yeah. You have, have a divination caster has used all his spells here. I'm not a divination caster. I have one spell uh, SLA divination per day. Oh shit! Is he actually supposed to die? Who? <laughs> Bob. Are you gonna kill Bob? <laughs> Where'd you come up with that one? <laughs> He's evil. We're not gonna. And the evil. unicorn is not. If we just cave into racism, all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's storybook racism. So, like, yeah, that makes it okay, right? <sighs> Everything's so much more confusing now. The, oh, the God, the it's idiot. another road. The stories don't tie together at all. Oh, but that... Oh, God. Oh, man. But then that shows the unicorn the evil, because, like, if we brutally murder the goblin, and then it's like, do you see? Do you see what good is? And then we just, like, stab the goblin. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you <laughs> fucking do. It only matters what card you play. You're meaningless. Your life, your actions, meaningless. <laughs> no, but your divination said that we had to do the story. Yeah, but playing the cards. The, the, the story is only the cards. But if you use the wrong one, it's gone forever. So then if we run into stories later where it had a mandatory card. Nothing's going to be mandatory. Worst case scenario, just murder everything. I don't know what any of these cards mean, though. Or what they represent. And I don't have time to do like the hours worth of research needed. I say we just leave. All right, I say we there's, spend there's the... There's an artifact of that tree. It's the most valuable thing the creator of this realm knew about. No, 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 like, no, no, we no. can't not get it. No, no, no. <laughs> you did it on on the, the mute hag. You didn't do it on Sonray. <laughs> Big difference. I guess. Nah, that's a signature Mosin red herring. That's a red herring if I've ever heard one. 
You'll never. But, you're, gonna, you're gonna spend more hours trying to parse what I said there than fucking actually get some useful information out of it. It's important to figure out how exactly the cards work, though. Yeah, I agree. Ah! <laughs> but like fucking the idiot and the unicorn, they look. They don't have anything to do with each other. Fucking making a story mm. here. And they sucked us into their cyclical trap. <laughs> All hey. I know is the locksmith is probably the final card to play. Hey, give me the give me the pair. I'm a unicorn. Oh, I think I said no. <laughs> is this a known story? Does anyone know the story of the unicorn and the fucking goblin? Well, I think actually, the unicorn is. I said already. Is the it's about unicorns, the ultimate embodiment of good. However, there's a downfall to it that when you have such high standards of good, you don't realize that good and evil is black and white, and you start labeling good people as evil. Oh, yeah. He <laughs> is good. Yeah, we were supposed to show him that Bob is a good guy. Uh, but you let a plus four try to convince the unicorn. Good job, squad. I rolled well, a two. Misaligned, the idiot could be feigning idiocy. To disguise one's gifts. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that. I don't know if anything matters at all anymore. My life was ruined. He's Christmas good. is over. We have to convince Unicorn that he's good. We almost got it, but I just can't roll that eye. <laughs> I've wasted two cards. I have no faith in myself anymore. I'm experiencing dissolution of the self. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I take over? And convincing the unicorn. Just kill everyone. Kill everyone in this place. I'm over it. Eat some bears. I'd like to gaslight this unicorn. Sure, gaslight the unicorn. Don't talk to it, just kill it. Nothing matters. You can't talk to anything. First, uh, I'll just start by putting it in a state of overwhelming grief. <laughs> so you're gonna cast... Uh... Does this count as a hostile action? I thought the game was over. <laughs> <laughs> We're going ham. <laughs> you guys refuse to let it go, so I can't... End That's okay, end the game. End it now. <laughs> well, if she's serious worry. about it, we can go for it. Uh. Never yeah. Mind. So this. I'm, ser uh, I'm serious about it. Casting I'm, I'm a this. combat spell. This is a combat spell. Yeah, it is. Alright, Jamie, before you can finish that, would you like to give me a will save first? Sure. <laughs> As a wow. horn blasts from the area. You pass. All right, you gas like you overwhelmingly grief this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, you overwhelmingly grief him. Oh, I'm sad. Now, so listen, good. Unicorn. And sad. You've done this to yourself, you understand? <laughs> this is the result of your ignorance and your, your obstinate insistence that this goblin is evil. Oh, but he is. I'm so sad that he is evil. No, no, you are evil. I'm evil. It's your fault. The it's goblin Bible. is good. You've got it all backwards. That's what being evil means, is that you have everything twisted around. No. No. Please give me a bluff check if you can <laughs> I'm questioning. Damn it. Rolling so poor with all the stuff. I'm yeah, taking using my dex, my dex bonus to sense motive. Uh, however, you feels as though you, you. Oh no, it's still not enough. So you get a plus four with that, but still not enough. Assist me. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody. Oh, uh, it's plus two from Inspired. <laughs> <laughs> plus four. 
You're evil as fuck. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and everything she said is true. <laughs> Nothing matters anymore. Let me just tweak your odds. <laughs> sure. yeah, have, have two more. There you go. You pass. All right. It seems as though e with the situation that ar arises, uh, you would fail normally. But from the power of dance and the power of luck manipulation and the power of the story manipulation, you have <laughs> somehow gaslit the unicorn <laughs> into thinking that he's the evil one. Oh no, what do you mean? I can't be evil. It's not true. I've only held, withheld some items from a goblin for over 10,000 years. That's not evil. It's evil as shit. <laughs> oh, I know. It's painful. It's so painful. But it's true. And you have to face it. This is the reality you live in now. He looks down sullen. <laughs> Of course. Well then, there's only one way to make it uh, to make atonement for my sins. He looks into the sun. Goodbye. Ah, oh, lag. Oh, it's working. Stop dice working. Oh, whoops, okay. I shouldn't have, I wasn't going to bring you with me, but I guess I brought you with me. That well, looks like I'm going to the sun. Goodbye, <laughs> Pangs. Oh, God. Don't worry, Pangs is still here, everybody. Relax. Pangs, Pangs, Pangs is here. Pangs is here. Pangs is here. Pangs, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, the pairs are mine. Hey, where the... Where's the pair? I chuck one at his head from here. Ah! Hey, I found the pair, everyone! You did, did it, it, Bob! Congratulations. No, we did it together. Oh, we're friends. Do you see, Bob? It is what you call a friendship. What? What's a friendship? These, everything now. Enjoy it. And hey, your pair. Here. You guys can have this. He takes, he opens up a he opens up his bag and he sh shows you six pairs that he's had. Hey, you can have them. The gifts. Thanks, Bob. They're written on top of them with some sort of charcoal. Fear not on each pair. Ooh. Who wants them? I'm gonna put them in someone's inventory. Here, you can have it. Here, Thanks. Babe. You like eating? There you go. Pairs of... You get pairs. That's great, Bob. Fear not pairs. Snack for later. And with that, the story ends for today. Yeah. We did it! You got the prize, which wasn't... I, got, I convinced a unicorn to kill himself. <laughs> to run into the sun and die. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I thought he was gonna go into the little pond and just become a Kelpie. <laughs> so, that would have been much more horrific. I'm never playing a card again, I hate the Herald Realm, I quit. I <laughs> thought he was gonna kill himself, and then he did. That's great. He just teleported places. Hell yeah. You know plus where he went. one. Plus yeah. one to Lampkin's running theory that if it looks like the card, it is the card. The sun's and also made of cardboard, so. Yep. Yeah. And my theory where the cards still don't do shit. They do things. The only time I've noticed them do anything is the very first one I pulled, which was the bear. The bears. <laughs> they the, manipulate it caused, the it caused the bears to become clumsy. So far, huh? some they cards did. you have pu some cards that you have Hold, have done nothing, right? Because the situation hasn't arise. However, uh, the mutag did something, the unicorn did something, the idiot did something. It all you've all affected it. Your actions have affected the card pool. 
but not the bears. Because we, we don't know even, what the encounter the would look like the, otherwise. The, yeah, you'd have no clue what the encounter would look like without doing it. I, we're just gonna we're just gonna have faith, have faith in ourselves in the heart of the cards. I have no faith. I hate everyone and everything. Because <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get your tree artifact. Oh god, the so tree. Did you, does this tree have hands? No, but okay. there's there's a pocket that it's holding, a magical pocket that holds artifacts. Mm -hmm. We try giving it something. <laughs> In exchange. Give it a pair. Give it give it one of these pairs. <laughs> yeah, the story's over. <laughs> Alright. All right. Next. <laughs> we did it. I'm Give satisfied. Me. Well, for that, I end the stream. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone who's stuck around to watch. And it's time to go. It's quite a lot. I'm